Hey guys, glad y'all could make it here to uh, to my channel, Roland Picker. Um, today we're going to have a uh, an auction with a very special guest, Patty. As you guys have seen in the things uh, that I've been posting around, she's got some really cool vintage, some Victorian sterling silver, and a lot of other cool stuff. Um, but before I enter, before we get this thing rolling and I introduce you to uh, Patty, so she can just say hi, I want to go ahead and acknowledge the. Um, the people that are in the chat, I see San Juan is here. Darlene, hi, Miss Darlene. Selena's here. Lynn's here. Uh, Barbie's here from Barbie Crafts. Hey guys, also during this uh, during this uh, auction, if you want to uh, go ahead and promote your channel, we we do allow that because we want to help the community. Barbie Crafts, she had some auctions the last couple of days ago. You need to go check her out. Her and Ken, her husband, they run auctions. Glad you could make it, Barbie. Um, Geisha Treasures, Casey. Casey's here. Hey, Casey, glad to have you here. Sherry Berry's here. Uh, this and that, Kathleen. Who all so guys, you need to go uh, subscribe to her channel. She does auctions as well. Um, we've got Susan Gill here. How's it going, Susan? I'm glad you could make it. So get this. My daughter's here. Angie, I'm glad you came by to watch your old man make a fool of himself. Um, Kathleen Brant's in the house. And we're going down the line here, guys. Just want to make sure I get everybody. Barb, Barbara's here. Babsy, Kim T. Durr is here. Uh, I don't think I've seen you in my chats before, but welcome. Glad to always have new people come in, especially to these auctions. Carla's here. Princess Casserole, Hedwig. Hedy's here. Nice to have you. All right, guys. So um, here's the deal. Um, Patty's like, I got this huge collection, and I need to sell stuff to buy more stuff. So you know the typical jewelry thing you know we got to spend got to sell to buy and as Dwayne always says we're just exchanging hands that's all we're doing we're just exchanging jewelry going around but I got to tell you guys these pieces here you're going to want to really look at them she's got some cool vintage she's got some cool Victorian she's got I mean she's got some uh, st uh, a lot of sterling silver uh, she's got uh, chains brooches pins and a lot of it's vintage so you know, this is going to be like personal collection stuff. So I think you guys are going to be very excited to see what she has. Uh, and Mystic Visions here. Hey, uh, Laura Lee, Lee is here. Glad to have you. Taddy's Closet, glad to have you here. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of here. I'm going to let uh, Patty introduce herself. And then I'll go ahead and start calling. The, we'll start calling the auctions with the pieces. And what's going to happen is April will... Uh, type in you'll see bougie bear type in the start price i'll call it and then she'll do the going once going twice typing it going three times and i'll type in the sold so that way we go by my chat on who has the sold okay and also in the description i put patty's email address so y'all can contact her with your shipping information and one suggestion and uh patty agreed on this hey patricia nice to have you here and elizabeth uh, makeup zombie that's another one. You guys need to go check out Makeup Zombie too. She does auctions on Sunday. Really cool auctions. Um, when sending payment, she's agreed to go ahead. Instead of doing the friends and family, because there's this issue, it seems to be, I want to get it out now. There seems to be an issue about PayPal's watching and this and that. She said, when you guys send payment, it'll just, when she gives you a total, you go to send money. Instead of doing friends and family, just hit goods and services. Okay? And send it goods and services. Because she wants to make sure everybody's can have a, a good record because you'll get a record of what you you know you could put in there a uh, jewelry i bought and then that way you can keep a record okay so now that i got that out of the way oh san juan is here i'm glad you finally made it back from uh dialysis so i'm glad she's here all right so i'm gonna put it on turn me off and i'm gonna put it on lock it on patty so, Patty, you want to introduce yourself, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Patty. Um, I'm under Patty Feb on my channel. Um, I have a huge, huge collection of jewelry, and I want to get rid of it and get some more. Uh, I've been collecting since I was 14. Started with my sister. Gave me a heart, my mom, everybody gave me jewelry, and I love jewelry. All kinds of jewelry. All kinds of jewelry. <laughs> All righty. Is that it? Right. You ready? Yeah, okay. that's it. 
I so got lit. We've got, uh, I think we're starting with uh, some uh, bracelets, right? Yes. Is that, is that right, April? Yes. Okay, and uh, what when we start with the braces, what's the starting price on and the bracelets? And these are starting at five. And we're going to do three separate bracelets, right? Yep. Yes. And these are, uh, what kind of silver is these? Are these the Mexican silver or the Taxico, or what do they call it? These are the Taxco bracelets with the inlay of mother of pearl and some enameling and such, made in Mexico. Pretty. Okay, so uh, Kathleen's already jumped in there at $5, so you didn't even get to type the, the start. Don't worry about it. We'll just go with the five. Anybody going to give me six for this? Any interest in giving six for this beautiful bracelet? Can we see the inlay on the front? Is that That's nice. Pull it back just a little bit. There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah, that looks pretty. We have two butterflies and a beautiful flower in the middle. These are alpaca, yes. Uh, they are uh, Elizabeth. So we've got five from Kathleen. Anybody want to come in at six? Because I want to move this along, guys, because we've got a lot of stuff plus a killer jewelry jar at the end. And you know you don't want to miss the jewelry jar. So you want to start counting it down there um, for me, April? We've got Kathleen at, at $5. It says it's going once. At $5, anybody else uh, want to get in on this for 6 bucks? Alice uh, Gallerani, I hope I said your name right. Welcome to the, to the chat. And the auction, she's uh, bid six. Um, hold on. Kathleen's back up at seven. So we're having to start that count all over again. Yeah. All right. We've got seven going once. I'm going to move this along, guys. I'm telling you, we're not going to we're not going to drag this out. We've got Kathleen at seven going once. Going. Oh, Alice Gorani. Okay. Does anybody? I'm not going to be mean or nothing, but does anybody know Alice? Because I I I I want to keep the bids going, but I want to make sure that we've got uh, that this is a legit. Um, I haven't seen Alice in my chats personally, but anybody but can they vouch you know what? for her? I I just checked. She does have videos. She has a video. She just started out. So I would say if anybody knows her, can you speak up for? Her? Hey, Sandy. You know what? We're going to go ahead and trust people here, I think. Okay. What do you think? Shall we take the $10 bid? Sure. I, I sure. Can. All right. We're going to take 10 Go ahead and type in once. Going, going once to Alice for 10 All right. Nobody on 11 All right. We're going to go twice. All right. We've got 10 on this bracelet. Anybody else? All right. Uh, let's go th three times. And I'm going to be giving you guys fair warning. I'm only going to give it about 10 seconds before I hit sold. All right. Nobody else. Fair warning. Sold. That's sold to uh, Thank Alice. You. Alice uh, I'm just going to say Alice. I can't even pronounce the last name. If that's okay. I don't want to chop up anybody's name. Sold to Alice. So, And just so you guys know, to get your shipping information into Patty, Go into the description. It'll be there even when the sh when the video reposts. It, her her email address is in there. Please contact her. All right. Um, okay. The next bracelet is the same thing. An alpaca. What do they call them? Alpaca. Mm -hmm. And that's a starting price of five dollars. Want to pull back just a little bit? What is that inlay? Is that a flower? Yes, it's shell. Green and green and uh, and and oh, and it's made out of shell. All right, guys, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, we'll go ahead, start at five. Okay. We've got uh, Kathleen in at $5. There you go. That looks pretty good right there. Kathleen's in at five. We've got Red Neckerson in at six. Um, is it 925? Is that stamp 925? I don't know. These are usually oh. like a nickel silver. They're usually not... Sterling. Does it say 925 there? I can't see. It has a marking in there. Let's see. I, I don't know anything about this kind of silver, guys. What do you think, April? No, usually they're not. 
All right, I got Susan Gill at seven. Sorry, Kathleen, on my screen, she was above you. Uh, sorry, Kathleen, uh, Nathan came in at eight. Above you, uh, Anna, Anna Moore. Moore, she's in at, uh, sorry, that was seven, hon. Gonna have to come up. Susan came in, Gill, at nine. So we have nine on this, going to Susan Gill. All right, let's, let's do a going once for Susan at $9. All right, guys, nobody for 10. We're going to go twice at at $9 for Susan Gill. Up oh, and more comes in at 10, so we're going to start that over again. Let's go ahead and do a uh, 10 for Anna, uh, going once for Anna at $10. That is a beautiful bracelet. You want to move just a little bit slower there, Patty, so people can get a chance to see that inlay. It's gorgeous. We've got... Uh, uh, Going once, going twice for 10 now. Let's get it twice in there, uh, April. All right. Anybody else going to go higher than 10? All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's see. What's the saying here? Wait a minute. Patty, what is your shipping? Oh, what is the shipping on, on this stuff? April, did we write it down? With Patty, did we write it down? Shipping's going to be based off of weight. So um, once we actually get all your items together and weigh it, it'll be done by the weight, just the same as I do mine. All right, so make sure you get your shipping information in. Patty will weigh it, and then she'll give you the actual sh uh, shipping cost, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm doing fair warning, guys, because this bracelet's going to be going, it looks like, to Susan. All right, fair warning. It's to Anna Sold. has it at 10. And Anna's got it. So it is Anna. Sold to Anna for $10. Anna, thank you very much. That's a pretty bracelet. All right, we have. And this going to be a baby one. And this is a little um, baby one? That's the match to the big one? No, this is the uh, like a tiny little hand. For a, Okay, for a child. Then. Probably mm -hmm. get, ooh. Is that hearts? Same price, guys, five bucks. And uh, April put it up there, starting price of five. Hey, David, car boot picker, thanks for coming, brother. Oh, it's, Hi, got, David. Uh, it's got like diamonds. Ooh, that's cool. Pretty they're little inlet. fish. Oh, they're fish. Right on. Yeah. Anybody want to go five on this? Any interest? Any love on this for five? Hey, Adam, glad you could make it. We got Susan Gill at six. Thank you, Susan, for the bit of six. Anybody want? Thank you, Susan. Cindy loves jewelry. We got uh, Cindy loves jewelry coming in at seven. Thank you, Cindy, for that, that bid. You want to bring it down just a little bit, Patty, so they can see the. There you go. Right on. You're doing a great job, Patty, and I'm. Just going to plug along here. So we've got Cindy Loves Jewelry at seven. Let's go ahead and do that once at $7 for Cindy Loves Jewelry. Oh, Susan came in. Gil's come in at eight. So we've got to start that all over again. Like I said, folks, we're going to move this along fast. We've got a lot to go through. We want to get you to the vintage stuff real quick. So we've got Susan at eight going once. Susan Gill has it at $8. Going once. Okay, let's do it again. Going twice. That is a really nice piece, Anna. That's really is. All right, we got it going twice. Let's go three times at $8. Cindy Loves Jewelry is out. All right, fair warning. Anybody else want to jump in? Cindy's out. All right. I got sold. Sold it to uh, Susan for $8. So... Good job, guys. Thank you, Susan, for your bid. It's already sold, right? And I think she got the one before that. She, she got two, like, with green. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that it matches. All right. Um, what's the, What do we got next? In bag? Is this a bag of jewelry? Earrings. April? A bag of earrings. Is that right, April? A pair of sterling silver earrings for starting at 25 Starting at $25, guys, this is a bag of seven sterling silver earrings. Now, I got to tell you guys, I told them, this tells you how much I know. I said, you need to polish that stuff up. And they jumped all over me and said, no, you don't polish the jewelry up. So a lot of these, are some are going to have patina, and they're really nice. They're all pierced. Are they all pierced, or are there any clip-ons in there? Pierced. All pierced, and they're all... They were all stamped with the 925 or said Sterling, right? And um, yeah, they should all be stamped. They're in different areas, all of them. Like some of them will have it right here. 
And then the other one had it on the inside of the, they have them on like the inside. And I believe these are the only ones that don't have a stamp on them right here. So how do we know they're silver? I know these were silver because when I bought them, I actually bought them from the pawn shop and they had it all tested. All right. The so they tested it. And then we checked yeah. those with magnets, right? So none yes. of them pick up with magnets. Okay, guys. So 25 bucks for seven. And there's the magnet. 25 bucks for seven pierced earrings, pairs of earrings that are selling silver. Any love for $25? Nobody? Give it a couple of seconds. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, it is good to have my voice back. Um, we're going to give it a couple more seconds. Did you want to, at 25, uh, nobody wants to love at 25. Do you want to uh, want to lower the price a little bit on that maybe? Yeah, that's fine. What, what, would, what would you like to go to? We can take five dollars off. All right, guys. So the new the new starting price is twenty dollars. Well, Francis, you got in before I typed the twenty. So, you know what? Sylvan Gill said she'd offer twenty. All right, Francis, did you want it for the twenty-five? Did you want to go twenty-five? Or you want to go twenty-one? I'll take twenty-one. Susan said she'd give twenty. I typed in the twenty. Francis says, okay, at 25. So, Susan, do you want to go higher than 25? Now, I don't want everybody beating up each other over this stuff, all right, because we all love each other here. No black eyes. Well, now she says 21. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take the 21. We'll do the increments because we're just getting this started. I'm moving it kind of fast. All right, so, okay, Francis at 21. Susan Gill says no, so $21. We got $21 to Francis. All right, we're gonna, anybody wanna go? No, 25, no, she says 25 is, okay, so what am I doing here? Francis, are you given the 25? Type in yes if you're given the 25. Twenty-five. Okay, so Francis at 25. Anybody wanna go 26? We're gonna go ahead. Call, uh, we're gonna go going once at uh, twenty-five to Francis. At seven pierced earrings, guys. Not bad, and I think some of them aren't like new. I think they're they're kind of old. Yeah. All right. Let's go uh, twice at twenty-five These are from to Francis. Artisans. This is an artisan, handmade artisan design. Handmade, cool. All right, let's go three times. Nobody for over 25. Let's go three times for Francis. Thank you, Francis. All right. We're going to go fair warning. Sold. Sold to Francis for, for uh, $25. Now, guys, since I'm new at this and I'm not a master like Dwayne, please wait until <laughs> April types in start 25. So we don't get mixed up, okay? And then when we're gonna lower the price, wait until, if we lower the price, wait until I type in the new price, okay? So there's no confusion, all right? Cool, let's move on to the next one and have some fun. What do we got next? What's item number two? Oh, this is the Victorian piece. Guys, check this thing out, man. What did you call this, uh, April? And it has a what? A bar, B A R, bar brooch. And we do believe it to be sterling silver. It does look like it is sterling silver. It's untested. Um, and it does have that marquise cut stone in the center and like a sort of a shell kind of pattern on each end. And we're starting that at 15 That's at $15, guys. So we're guessing it's sterling silver. We weren't able to test it. There are no markings to identify it. And quite honestly, I don't know if back in the day they started stamping that stuff. I don't know. So the starting bid is 15. April's already put it up. Does anybody want this uh, lovely Victorian piece for 18 or $15? Hi, everybody. 
All right. We've got uh, Fred Neckerson came in at 17. He was just above you, Sandy, at 15. So if, if you want, I need somebody to go 18 if you want it, Sandy. Hey, bum crack. Thanks for coming. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for coming. Uh, okay, we've got Sandy at 18. That is quite an unusual piece. I don't know anything about Victorian, but it is pretty. Okay, we've got, and it is uh, a about, little over, about three inches. Yeah, it's about three, a little over three inches or about three inches. So we've got Red Neckerson at 18, uh, 19. Anybody going to give me 18 for it? We got Nathan at 19. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and go in once to Nathan for $19. Very beautiful piece, guys. God, I don't even know what Victorian era is. Is that like the 20s or the 1910s? What is that? <laughs> well, that would be before the 20s, but I was looking at the back of it just then again. Maybe it's not quite that old. Maybe it is a little bit later than that because I'm looking at, unless we've had the uh, pen actually like replaced yeah. the back, but the style of it is definitely that style. Okay, well, Sandy came in at 20, so we've got Sandy and Nathan like in this piece. Nat, uh, Sandy's in at 20. Let's go ahead and do uh, once going once at 20 for sandy of just sandy by the way guys um sandy if you're new here and you've not gone to her channel go check out just sandy um she makes custom jewelry she does live while she's doing it and then she usually auctions it off afterwards or does her auctions on friday um so go check out her channel um we've got going twice at 20 for sandy and Patty, that is a glass stone in there, right? It feels like it's glass and yes. Mm -hmm. And um, you can you can see straight through it. It's it's cold. It's kind of like a light brown color. Mm -hmm. So we got we had Sandy going twice. Let's go three times now. There, uh, April. Can you kind of see it? Now we're at two times and then three times. Yep. Now we're up to three times. Nobody for uh, for uh, more than tw uh, more. Well, it's nineteen. No, it was twenty, right? Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Tell you what, guys. Bear warning. Sandy's got this piece for twenty dollars. All right. Sold. Sold to Sandy. Twenty dollars. Thank you, and thank you, Adam, for putting Sandy's channel up there. So you new people that are here, new new people have come to to watch and. Get involved. Go check that out so you can watch some of her videos. All right. So Sandy got that beautiful piece for 20 bucks. All right. What's the next item? Barbie, you're going to remember this one. I got this from Barbie. Ooh, a rose by any other name is still a rose. All right. Is that uh, got any mark maker's mark on it or anything? No. I don't see any marks on it. But. Oh, it comes okay. with. Uh, Links. So we're starting that off at twenty dollars. Uh, April's already put it up, so you get what two clip-on earrings and the rose brooch to match, and that's I'm assuming it's gold tone. Yes, gold very, tone. Very, very pretty. So anybody uh, in for twenty dollars on the uh, is the where's the other earring? There you go. They're all clip-on and the brooch. What a nice combination, man, for twenty bucks. You know what, guys? Christmas time is coming. And I know people are like, well, I don't know about clip-on earrings. But you know what? It's the gift that counts, man. And by giving them a rose, that means that, you know, that means good things. So the earrings measure roughly, what, an inch? About an inch, a little over an inch, inch and a quarter. In, yeah, inch and a quarter. And the brooch measures almost four. Okay, it's three and a half inches. So no takers, no love for twenty dollars. You want to go ahead and lower that down? Yeah, that's fine. Hi Thelma. Right. Hi Lynn. You want to you want to lower it down to fifteen? That's fine. All right, guys. Let me type it in. That's the new price, fifteen. Do you have any takers for fifteen on this beautiful rose? Uh, on this beautiful rose and uh, and uh, pendant and brooch or brooch and earring set. 
All right. We got no love. I missed Thelma. Thelma's in the house. Hey, Thelma, I'm glad you could make it. All right. So no love at 15, guys. I want to move on because we've got a lot more stuff to go. And that's all right. Not everybody likes everything. So we're going to go ahead and just pull that off to the side. If you guys, what number is that? Was that, that, was, that was what was it? Three. Number three. Okay, so guys, if you're interested later on and you can contact her and say, hey, Patty, I want number three, the rose. Wait. So hold on. Susan, did you want it for 15? Tell me yes. Okay, Susan has it. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go going once, going twice, going three times. All right, let's do it. That's going to be sold. We're going to sell it to, uh, thank you, Bougie. Thank you for getting that. I can't type fast enough. So Susan Gill has it for $15. That's a great buy, Susan, on a brooch and matching earrings. And once again, we recycle. That's cool. All right. So number four, what's the next item, Patty? Ooh, guys. Now, I don't know much about this. Other than it's beautiful. This is a and I'm gonna let April put the price up and tell you what they think about this because I know she said something about you can see through the back. So let's put the starting price of fifteen up. April, you start talking. Guys, if you want this, start bidding. Yeah, what I was mentioning about it was how they are prong set. It's a real beautiful piece. And then if you turn it around, Patty, we can show them how. It's not the foiled back rhinestones. It's actually the open, clear rhinestones, which means they're a good quality and you get the nice light that travels through it. Very beautiful piece. And that'll look nice on, oh, and it's got um, another or earrings. There's a set oh. of earrings. Oh, and it's got a match set of earrings, guys. I even missed that. Oh my gosh. So we've got a brooch and matching earrings in this cool brown or amber like color uh rhinestones and uh the uh clear rhinestones we've got uh Sosie in at 15 sorry cindy loves jewelry on my screen Sosie came up first now here's 16 dollars beautiful clip-ons any marks on them by the way no makers marks or nothing no there's no makers marks on it all right we've got uh Sosie in at 15 Remember, guys, it's going to be actual shipping weight. There's not going to be any inflated charges. Nothing. Beautiful piece. All right. We've got Sosian at 15. Cindy, you want to go 16 for him? All right. We're going to go ahead and go. We're going to go ahead and go uh, once to Sosi for $15. Yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty. I like the colors. All right. Oh wait, Cindy loves Julie come in at at uh, at sixteen. So we've got sixteen. All right, Sosie, you want to come in at seventeen? Anybody else want to jump in? We've got Cindy loves Jewelry at sixteen. Okay, let's do going once at sixteen for Cindy loves Jewelry. No, Sosie comes in now and says no. I want them seventeen dollars. So we've got Sosie in at seventeen dollars for the brooch. And matching earring set at 17. So we're going to go Sosi going once at 17. Hey, Patty, nope. can you hold it still? I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, no reason to be nervous. All right. Cindy goes, no, nope, <laughs> Sosi, you're not get getting them. You're not getting them. Oh, and the rhinestones are still in there. We're all good. Yeah. So Cindy's in at 18. Do we have anybody wanting to go 19? Cindy's karate chopping Sosie. I'm telling you, <laughs> some crazy stuff going on in here. All right. So we've got uh, Cindy at 18 going once. Oh, Sosie says, okay, I give. So no karate fighting <laughs> for, no karate chopping for Sosie. So that's, uh, I said, uh, yep, at once. Let's do it twice at 18. Okay, anybody else? Because I'm going to go going three times. To Cindy for 18. Fair warning, people. I'm giving you Italian 10 second fair warning. All right. 
sold sold to cindy loves jewelry for 18 dollars. i think that's a great buy cindy i think Thank you're gonna you. love them man they're very pretty right on all right let's move on to number five uh, is it five coming up yes is this five? Oh, now you guys this is unusual i ain't never seen a frog with a watch and this is a, a brooch right it's a pin yes and any markings on it um, all I have is the markings for the actual watch. What's the markings on the watch? This is starting out at $10, guys. So any frog lovers out there, you want to get in on this. It's C-E-N-E-R-E. -E -E. So okay. it's C as in cat, I... elephant, Nancy, elephant, Robert, elephant. All right. I, that's Greek to me, guys. So it must be special because I don't know what it is. So we've got um, Cindy Loves Jewelry in at 10 that is a very put is that uh like rhinestones or just a cut on the frog's back where it looks like shiny it, diamonds or whatever is that just like it, rhinestones yeah they're rhinestones and then he has red rhinestones in his eyes red rhinestones in his eyes this guy that means he's possessed and he wants to go <laughs> home with he wants to go home with you so we've got cindy loves jewelry at ten dollars all right i'm gonna tell you we're gonna do it. going once for ten well kim webster comes in at eleven are we going to see some kung fu fighting now? Um, do we know if the watch works? Is it a wind up or does it take battery? It's a battery watch and it has not been used. It still has the tape on it. Oh, it's got the little thing that blocks the puller outer so it hasn't been engaged. Yeah. Well, the battery might yeah. still be good, guys. Thank you for that, Kathleen, on the thumbs up. I appreciate it because I'm no good at this auction stuff. I can use all the help I can get. So we've got Kim Webster at 11. We've got a frog brooch with a watch attached to his foot that still hasn't had the plastic thingamajiggy pulled off the thing that starts the watch. So the battery may be good. You want to pull back just a little bit? There you go. And, and he's got red, red rhinestones in the eyes and clear rhinestones on his back. Okay, we're going to do Kim Webster at $11 going once. Sandy Jewelry Loves Jewelry comes in and says, I, yeah, karate chop it at $12. So now we're going to start all over again. Cindy Loves Jewelry going once at $12. Anybody going to go 13? Anybody want to karate chop Cindy? Not that I'm in, uh, not that I'm advocating violence. <laughs> okay, we have Kim Kim Webster came in at $13. That karate chop's just a thing that I do guys during Dwayne's auctions, okay? It's, it's not meant to hurt no one. Or is it? I don't know. So we have Kim Webster at $13. Thank you for that $13 bid, Kim. Cindy, you're going to come back and hit her with the, oh, she's out. She says she's out. So let's go going once at $13 for Kim Webster. Yeah, Kim says here, you will literally be hopping from time zone to another with that beautiful piece. Boy, that is a commercial in itself right there. Thank you, Kim. All right, Thank we've you. got... Um, We've got uh, $13 going twice to Kim Webster. And Patty, uh, so San Juan says you're doing fine. Yes, she That's is. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it. Uh, Kim Webster for $13 going three times. And then we're going to do fair warning. It's going to be Italian 10 seconds like a morning, you guys. Nobody else? All right. Sold to Kim Webster for $13. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Beautiful job. Okay, so this is, what item is this so we can get the price? What item it's number? Number six. number six. This is a sterling silver bracelet, right? With yes. red hearts, but we did we ever determine what the stones were? Or are they like a, like a garnet color? They're like a garnet color. They're like a... Um, like a red stone. I don't know if it what it is, but the if you hold them up to the light, you can see through it. Okay. Is there any markings Sorry. to identify the identify the piece? Any markings? Um, just the the nine two five. So it does have a nine two five stamp on it, guys. And so she's in for twenty five per bracelet. And this is one I wanted to polish them up. And they all yelled at me, no, don't polish it. So. Oh, wait a minute. 
I can't find it right now, but I know I saw it on there. You got your magnifier thingy, Bobber? Well, it's not magnetized. It's well, yeah, it's not it's not hooking on. Oh. Carmelian. What is Carmelian? Somebody mentioned Carmelian. Yeah, it looks to be like Carmelian, and then it has arcosites also. Oh, it's about seven inches, guys. And while we're taking the bids, we associate 25. Can we see if we can find that mark to verify that it's still sure. we passed about it? It's probably somewhere near the closure. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, hi, Bob. Yes, she has beautiful pieces. Oh, thank you, baby. My daughter found it. Oh, you got the old people eyes. That's why. Yeah. It's right on the inside right here. On the clasp. Okay, I see it. Well, well, come down. Pull back a little bit. I can see the writing. So it is 925, guys. We've got Sosie in at 25. Anybody else? Anybody else want to go 26? Did we have just Sosie at 25? Let's go once for Sosie at 25. You're going to love that piece, Sosie. It's beautiful. And it's seven inches. And I guess they know the chameleon or camellia or whatever. The stone. I just know it's red. All right. Let's go twice to Sosie for $25. Very pretty. And what else did you say it had in it, April? Something with an M? It's carnelian and marcasite, and that's that's my guess on the carnelian, but the marcasite for sure. And that's the marcasite's what's making the glitter? Yeah, that's yeah. the sparkle. Okay, we have Frances jumped in at 26. She's like, Sosie, I don't think so. So I want you ladies to be nice now. We got Frances at 26. Sosie, you want to give me 27 for it? All right. Let's do uh, uh, let's do once at twenty six for Francis. Oh man, Sosie, Sosie comes in at twenty seven. She's like, you know what? Not, I'm taking it. Oh, Francis back at twenty eight. All right, we got some kung fu fighting going on here. Anybody want to jump in and make it a three way fight for uh, twenty nine? Are you going to let, let these two lovely ladies beat it out? Nope, so she's like, nope, I'm gonna I'm karate chopping at 29. That's that is a very exquisite piece, and I was advised do not polish it. So I guess the patina really sets it off. Do you want to pull back just a little bit? There you there you go. And that's the clip. We got uh Francis came back at 30. All right. We're gonna do 30. I'm gonna move this along. So get your karate chops ready, everybody. We're gonna go. Francis going once at $30. All right, Francis, uh, Sozy, 33. She's that's a two fisted karate chop. 30 up, oh, Francis comes back with a two fisted karate chop and a kick. $35. Anybody else want to get in on this at 35? We're going to go going once to Francis for $35. Sozy says she's out. So we've got the going once for, for Francis at 35. We're going to do going twice for Francis at 35. I'll give April a chance to catch up here. We're going to go three times to Francis for 35. I'm going to give you guys fair warning. A couple of seconds. Sold. Sold to Francis for $35. Thank, Thank you, you Francis. That's a very, very beautiful piece. Very pretty. All right. So what number's next? Number seven. Number seven. This is a two sterling silver bracelet set. And we've got two separate bracelets. We've got this, what, twisted? And it is marked, right, Sterling? Right here. Did you find where I had it marked? I'm looking for the marks. I should have put some tape on it. 
Whoa. April started out at $2,500. Ooh. Oh, no, she corrected it. 25. Okay. Whew. That kind of had me worried there for a minute. All right. So did you find, was there marks you found them? Okay. I'm going to have to take one of the bracelets out because I think I put the wrong bracelet in here, but I do have a silver bracelet. Hold on. So we're going to take a commercial break. Yes. Let me go get the actual bracelet because I thought it was this one, but it's one that looks just like it. And that is silver and it has a marking and everything. All right, guys, we're going to give Patty, uh, go give Patty a couple minutes. Just give me a tiny, I know where it's at. All right. So are you guys having fun? Uh, I know I'm not calling them right, but I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, and I hope you're having fun. And just, uh, I'll get that, uh, I'll get that idea. Just want to get uh associate back in here so thank you guys again for showing up i love it when when the community comes together thank you francis i'm trying to do a good job i just don't want everybody to karate chop like they karate chop me ain't nothing like a black eye all right I think she's coming back, guys. We'll go ahead and uh, get the camera ready for her. And then I'll take care of something else real quick. And then I'll be back. How's everybody doing tonight? No. <laughs> all right, all right. Patty's back and she's got the right piece. And it's still the same starting price. And guys, um, I've been getting some uh, some messages. Let's kind of go light on the emojis and the caps, okay? So just letting everybody know. Okay. I'm going to have to apologize because I did notice that the bracelet I was going to try to put in there, it just is silver, has now have a dent. Okay, so we're not doing that then. But I'm going to put in this silver bracelet, Nicholas. And that is marked 925? It is marked. It's snake. And it's a what? It's kind of like a, a snake skin. And how long is it? I apologize for that. I am so sorry, but I don't want to give you something dented. So if it measures out six, uh, what's it measure out to? 16 inches. So that's a 16 inch. Is that how that works then? That's a 16 inch necklace. So guys, mm -hmm. for the 25 bucks, right? We've got a sterling silver, a snake like looking necklace, 16 inches. And it is sterling silver. You have nice nails, by the way. Um, <laughs> It's marked on uh, those I think sides. The camera's, I, think, I think the camera's picking up on your face. You gotta remember we have to block it. Sorry. Do no. you have to me about that? I keep doing it. There's a little thingy there, but I trust you. So we've got this and then let's see the bracelet again. Oh no, not the one. Not this. Yeah, yeah, let's see the bracelet again. This is a twisted and it, it is marked, right? And it's hollow. It's and not it's, hollow. it's not a heavy bracelet. It's hollow. And what's that? Uh, what do you think that is? Like a seven inch bracelet? Hi, Anita. So it goes across or you oh, you're doing that. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> it's about a five and a half. That but way, I have, okay. a, I have a seven inch wrist, and it fits me. I have like my my wrist is pretty big. Okay, so that was to say it's a seven inch for a seven inch arm or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so $25, guys, for these two sterling silver pieces. Uh, she replaced the dented uh, bracelet with a sterling silver chain, 16 inches. Do we have I'll any love at this point? Throw in the dented one if y'all want it. Okay, so you're getting the dented one in case you want to repair it. Yeah. So you're really getting two good pieces, one that you can fix as a project. Really cool. $25 open in bid. Hi, Bianca. Glad you could make it. Yeah, see, the her magnet picks that up, but it doesn't pick that up. So that's good. We've got the uh, dent and scratch, uh, dent and scratch package. <laughs> so uh, dent and can package. So nobody, no love for twenty five dollars. Hmm. Do you want to lower that down, or do you want to just move on? We can move on. That's no big deal. All right. We'll just move on, guys. Here's what you do. No love. Go ahead. And what number was that one, so they can remember it? Seven. Number seven, if you guys later on decide you want number seven, just email Patty and let her know, hey, I want number seven, the dented can lot, okay? <laughs> All right, let's move on to number eight. We're moving on to number eight. Hey, Josie, glad you could make it. This is a, oh, guys, this is a, uh, a we, that is, I think that's Navajo, but I don't, I think there were some names on it. It is sterling silver. That is red coral. We don't know if it's, it's probably real, not dyed. And it is a size seven, but it does need a repair, right? Um, when I put it, it's not. You see, it's not completely round, guys. It kind of like needs, you know how Sandy says, you got to put it on a special mandrel and then you tap it down with the mallet, rubber, with the rawhide mallet. Um, Patty doesn't have a rawhide mallet, so she just pushed it down as far as she could. It's going to need a little bit on the band. <laughs> it's all together. And what size? The size is, I would say, a six. It's right on the six. Right on the six. So we've got a size six. Um, it's very pretty. Native, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say Native American, but I'm going to also say what they call the Southwestern style because I don't know what the mark is. Is can we read the marks on the side of the ring? Is there any marks? identifying anything a maker or whatever we've got soci in a 25 it is a very pretty ring guys oh, you need the young eyes looking at it yes don't feel bad i wear trifocals i got three sets of eyes. there's her daughter her beautiful daughter helping her out say hi hi, <laughs> hi. Uh, um, she's trying to read it because it's a very very long name That looks big. Oh, it says Sterling. T Sterling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says T Sterling. Okay, it says Sterling for sure. And it has a T on it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know no. nothing about that kind of jewelry. I don't so want to. We... <laughs> yeah, so we know it's Sterling okay. at least. Mm -hmm. This looks like, I don't know. It's some, I don't know. It's like a weird T. It's a weird Damn, I don't know. All right, guys. So this might be a treasure. We don't know. So Sozi's going to snatch this up probably for 25 bucks. It is a pretty ring. All right, let's do going once to Sozi for 25 And if you guys know anything about the Southwestern, I mean, Sandy makes Southwestern jewelry, guys. You know, it can get pretty pricey, but I think this is actually probably Native American. I'm just guessing because yeah, it's got some kind of weird T on it. So I'm not sure, but we know it's over. All right, Sosi at 25 going twice. Very pretty bear. Thanks, bear claw. Bear footprint. Yeah, it is a paw. It's a bear paw. All right. Hi, we got, Love you. Oh. Uh, hi, Timmy. Do I say hi? Mm -hmm. Hi. All right. We're going to do Sosi going three times at Sosi for 25. Do you want to move it a little bit to your right? There you go. Uh, what is it, Mary? Mary, it's a sterling silver. We're, I'm saying Native American. You could call it Southwestern. We can't quite make the identification. No, it's a ring. Size six. All right. We got three times for Sosi at $25. Fair warning. Sold. Sold to Sosi for $25. Thanks, Sosie. Thank you, Sosie. You got a cool ring there, and I'll bet when you get it, you're going to find out it is something very, very, very special. So now this is number nine, right? 
Yes. This is another sterling silver ring. And it's got, uh, are those tiger's eyes or is that glass? Tiger's eyes. This is tiger's eye, guys. Three tiger's eyes. Sterling silver and the size. And the starting price is $28 on this. Beautiful size piece. Seven. It's a size 7. Band's in good shape. And it is marked 925, right? I mean, we looked at that last night for sure. Yes. And it's got three tiger's eyes in it. Let's see the ring. I love that design. Okay. And it it has see it. <laughs> I can't okay. sit still. Oh, I can see the mark there a little bit. Let's go ahead and show the stones again. Tiger's eye for 28. We got, look at that, guys. That's so cool, man. We got any love for $28? Well, we had we have the ring and necklace set together. Oh, there's a set. Oh, it's a set. Oh, my bad. Guys, there's a tiger. Is that tiger's eye? Yes. And a tiger eye necklace. That's chips, a tiger eye. And is that wood beads in there, too? No. Like separating it? Or it's different, different, like different colors. And is the uh, is there any mark on it? Is it the chain of the back of the class? No, silver or no? No, it's just regular, no. regular old old metal. All right, guys. So we've got a tiger's eye necklace. It looks like it's made with chips or the, the stones, and the ring, sterling silver ring for twenty eight dollars. And Anita was. And the ring, I think. Jen yes, Jennifer. I think she said the ring is a size seven. So we have any love? Oh. We've got the assistant there wearing the ne wearing the necklace. Pretty cool, one of them chunk <laughs> chunky necklaces. And they lost their head over it. Anita, yeah. Anita, Anita's in at twenty eight dollars. See, Anita knows Anita knows good stuff, man. Well, they all know good stuff. So I think Anita had to see the necklace on the headless dummy, and that that helped. So a size seven ring stainless steel. Okay, guys, we're going to move along. We got in. <laughs> We got Anita. We got Anita at twenty dollars going once. I don't know, Laurie, what Laura, what happened to his head? He lost it over the uh, over the over the jewelry. My daughter said, "Off with his head!" And that's what happened. So <laughs> we got Anita once at twenty eight. Okay, we're gonna go two times at Anita going twice. Mm -hmm. For twenty-eight, a very modern designed ring. Yes, it is very modern. And there is a scripture in here. It's T A G. T A G. T A G. It's T look T A O G something. That's all we can see. <laughs> T A T A O blah 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 blah. Something. Okay. It's something, something, something. Okay. All right. We're going to go three times for Anita at 28 on this uh, Tiger's Eye necklace and ring set. All right, guys. I'm going to give you a fair warning. Going to get a couple seconds. We're going to move on. Sold to Anita for $28. Thank you, Anita. Thanks, Anita. Thank you very much. That's a pretty, you got a pretty set there. All right, Eight. and this is now nine, right? Ten. Ten. Thank you, assistant. Number ten. Oh. <laughs> and, and this is and this is a sterling silver ring, right? It's sterling silver. Yes. And um, do we did we determine what the stone was? You need to move it to the right a little bit. There you go. Because see, we block it down here at the bottom with our pictures. I don't know. That looks kind of like a, a topaz color stone. Yeah, we don't know if it's glass or not, but that starts at 20. What size is it? It also has heart cutouts on the side. Yeah. Oh, it does? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, we'll get a look at it. Size 7. Another size 7. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right, Velvet. Bling, bling. Hi, Velvet. All right. Pretty stone. Let's see uh, the, the 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 hearts on the side. Just yeah, roll them up. There you go. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so we've got twenty dollars on this ring, size seven. Anita, with, uh, I'm the queen of hearts, Anita. <laughs> that's right. She's a queen of hearts. <laughs> you need to move them over to the center so we can see the ring, please. Oh, Aquamarine. Layla says Aquamarine, if not glass. So, hey, guys, if anybody knows their gems, I'd say we've got some ladies in that do know their gems. So, size seven, anybody? It was $20. We got no love at $20. None. Do you want to you wanna knock some off of that? Yeah. All right, guys, wait till I type in. You want to take five off? Yeah. All right, guys, new price is 15 Has a 925 right here on the side. And a 925 silver. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to do $15? Uh, can you move it over to the right a little bit? Yeah, there you go. 925. Got it for 15. Okay, we're going to we're going to give it a few more seconds if there's no love on this ring for 15. Grand Josie, Josie came in at 15. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, I don't know, Angie. I thought Walker Marine was a little bit lighter blue, but it, maybe it comes also a little darker. I did watch a show once where they were mining aquamarine and it was pretty crazy stuff, man, with avalanches and rock slides and all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. So we've got Josie at 15. Let's go ahead and do going once to Josie for $15. Oh okay, yeah. It, uh, Layla's right. It does differ. And Josie thinks it's a topaz. Very cool. I don't know ladies. I don't know nothing about them. So we've got Josie. Okay. We got Josie in. Twice at 15. Well, Patricia, uh, Patricia Eaches or Peaches came in at 16. So do we have anybody wanting to go 17? Uh, sorry there, Kathleen. You're going to have to refresh. Patricia came in above at 16. Thelma Thrifton is at 18. Sorry, Josie. On my screen, Thelma came in. at I would have called 17, but Thelma came in at 18. Kathleen's in at 19. Anybody want uh, – Josie's in at 20. Can I get 21 for it? Anybody want to go 21? Anybody? We've got a uh, massive kung fu fight going on here. All right, let's go Josie for $20 going once. Oh, Kathleen comes back. 21. Slipped in that karate chop, Kathleen. We got Thelma at 25. All right, so we got Thumb at 25. She like karate chop and a kick. All right, we're going to call it going once for Thelma at 25. Anybody else? Is the blue going, going around the stone and the halo the same color blue as the center stone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the, the halo then around it is the same stone. Okay, we're going to go Thelma <laughs> at 25 for twice at 25. Two times, yes. All right, so it has the blue stone and then the blue halo. Josie mm -hmm. comes in and says, uh-uh, whack, $26. Yes. So oh, Josie's throwing karate chops around too, guys. I'm proud of you, Josie. Um, wait, is that a bid, Lynn, Josie? You said you're going to do jo over Josie for 36 or is that just a typo? Joe Chop. Yeah, I think that's a typo, huh, Lynn? Yeah, a jo 26. That's right. Josie's in at 26. <laughs> yes, thank you. So we're going to go Josie 26 going once. Yeah, Jennifer, that is a Thelma ring. And Susan believes the topaz is more correct. So we've got Josie going once. Then we're going to do my... Uh, Twice. And then we're going to do no more karate chops. Yeah, I know Josie said 26. We have it for 26. Thank you, Lynn. Josie going three times. Oh, Thelma come in at 27. So now Thelma at 27. Okay, we're going to do going once at 27 for Thelma going twice to Thelma for 27 
Josie comes in at 28. So we've got Josie at 28. All right, guys, Josie at 28. Going once to Josie for $28. Beautiful ring here. All right. Oh, Thelma didn't even give us a chance to type it in. You know what I'm going to do for you, April? I'm going to help you out. I'll do the typing so it's a little faster, okay? So we've got, uh, we've got Thelma at $30. Go in once. And we've got Thelma at $30. We're going to move it along, guys. I'm not going to give you much time to think about it. You snooze, you lose. Going twice. And we're going to go ahead and do Thelma three times at $30. Fair warning. Yes, I know Lynn Thelma has it for $30. Thank you. That was fair warning. Thanks, Lynn. Sold. Sold to Thelma for $30. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. And thank you, ladies, for keeping the fighting clean. Now, we have another one here. This is number what? 11. 11. Number 11. And this is sterling silver as well. And it's a lot lighter. And it's a lot lighter than the other ring. And what's the starting price? $2,500. Ooh. <laughs> $25. $25. And it's sterling silver, correct? Yes. And what size? It's... Seven and a half. Seven and a half. So this one's a little bit bigger. Seven and that a half. That looks like is the it... same stone, blue topaz. Yeah. Is it? What? What? And what is that cut they call that on this one she's holding now? Emerald. Is that like it's an emerald cut? Is it almost the same? Yeah, it does look like. It and, does look like the exact same stone. And this one's a lot lighter. I don't know why it's showing up like that, but this one's a lot lighter. And color clear. Uh, it could just be the cut. I'm not sure. Yeah. So what was the starting price? I didn't see it up there. 25. $25. So the starting price guy is $25. Let's go ahead and start at seven and a half. It looks to be the same stone. It's an emerald cut, sterling silver. Anybody for 25? Those are more probably like baguette. I think you would call those baguette. Is that yeah, what they call it? Yeah, that's what it's called, uh, yeah. A, a baguette? Okay, I, is a baguette like a special cut or something? I don't know. It's another, yeah, it's another cut. Very similar. Would, would yeah. that, um, Patricia, the size of the seven and a half? Mm -hmm. um, so would that make the stone look lighter then as a baguette versus the round one? It's not necessarily the cut. You know, you can get very in deeper colors of different. Yeah. Things. Those both to me look like they would be more of topaz and not aquamarine. Aquamarine is such a light, light powdery blue. Yeah. All right. Anybody for 25? We have nobody who has the love for the baguette. I know when you say baguette, I'm thinking of like a sandwich right me. now. Thinking a of a bread. sandwich. I don't, yeah, I'm thinking of bread. I'm hungry. All right. So we got no love at 25. Do you want to lower it down a little bit there, uh, Patty? We can move along. I actually love oh. this ring. Okay. Well, she loves this ring, guys. So but it's not going to go for interested? any If you're interested, give her the number. What's the number? 11. Number 11, guys. She's not going to lower the price down because she really loves this ring. I think she doesn't want to let it go. So... <laughs> We're going to move on. If you like the ring and you want it, just send her the message in the email and let her know, number 11, I want the baguette. You can't have it. Type it. Okay? <laughs> so now we're on number 12. And number 12 is, ooh, that is a blue and red inlay, hearts. What's the starting price on this, uh, April? Number I'm sorry, 12. Give me just a second because I'm having to write everything down, and I think I've gotten a little Oh, okay, no problem. Her. And yeah, that is for the double heart ring. Yes. Yes, that one's starting it. That it's what? Twenty. I'll type it in. Here you go. Okay, twenty dollars. 
And that's sterling silver, correct? Yes. And the size? We need a big size. Let's pull for an eight or a nine. It's a little over, it's under seven. Just a little over seven guys. So around maybe seven and a, and a, and a quarter. Yeah. All right. Is that enamel? Thelma wants to know, is that enamel or can you see through it if you shine the light or? It's, it looks like a whole bunch of little coral pieces, like a little, a whole bunch of like dust, like Chip. a little. Like chips were put lay. together. Yeah. Chip inlay. Thanks, Dia. Yeah, I know, Angie, if it was bigger, it would be yours. You need to pull your hand up just a little bit there and pull back. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now it's focusing. All right, guys. So it's $20. It's like uh, chips and it's an inlay and it's a size seven and a half or seven and a quarter. Anybody interested at $20? Mosaic heart. That's what, uh, that's what Kathleen says. So we got no love at $20. Do you want to, uh, do you want to, yeah, that's right, Angie. It would make a gorgeous index finger ring. Do you want to lower it down a little bit or you, do you love this yeah, one? Yeah, that's fine. You want to lower it down to 15? Yeah. Hey guys, I typed in the new starting price, 15. Someone wants to know if it's signed. Is there a maker's mark inside? I got my eyes working right here. <laughs> yeah, we got the good, the new eyes. The young eyes. There looks like. And you have a lovely assistant, by the way. She's doing a fine job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're checking for the marks now, Thelma. Fifteen dollars, guys, on this ring. I mean, it's sterling. It's silver. It's marked. We know it was marked silver because we'd seen that, but we're looking for a maker's mark. It looks to be like, like a seven or eight. It says it looks like a seven with an arrow. No, a seven or an arrow. Oh, it looks like a seven or an arrow. It looks like a seven or an arrow. So, guys, I don't know that maker's mark, but for 15 bucks, that's kind of like a mystery. You know, it's a mystery uh -huh. to find out what it is. Eyes. Any um, of you uh, jewelry aficionados know what an arrow or a seven or an arrow? We got Thelma at 15. She likes mysteries. So. It has a. Uh, mm, yeah, almost, almost, almost can see it. <laughs> Our hands are too chunky. It's in there. It has like two copyright, like two circles, and then it has an arrow. It has like three little. Damn funny. Well, we got, we've got, we've got, a, a, we've got, uh, we've got Thelma at 15. I'm going to do the going once. All right. At 15, anybody want to give me 16 for this uh, mystery maker's mark? We don't know what it is. All right. We're going to go Thelma going twice at 15. I think someone knows something that nobody else knows. <laughs> or, she, or she likes surprises. I think Thelma likes surprises. We're going to go going three times to Thelma for $15. Hey, Carla, how's it going? All right. Guys, fair Carla. warning. This is your last chance. Sold to Thelma for $15. She got the mystery maker mark. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> What's the next number? Uh, yeah, 14. Number 14. Number, number 14. Oh, wait, no, and no, this 15. is, and this is, a. Uh, want to move to the right a little bit? That's a black, is that a black onyx or we, we yes. think it is? Yeah, okay. that's what we believe it is. Tell them it's 13. Number 13. And what is the, uh, uh, sterling, it says sterling uh, silver or? It has Mexico sterling silver 122th. Okay, guys, I don't know what that means, but it's pretty impressive. The size is, and it starts at 35, guys. Thank you, April, for putting that up there. Please be an eight. Seven and a half, guys. We're getting closer, guys. We're gaining some size as we go up. Seven and, oh, and it, I forgot it comes with earrings, matching earrings. So this is a cool set with sterling silver matching ring and matching earrings. 
The ring is seven and a half. The earrings are also marked the same, right? The earrings are marked Mexico 925. Mexico 925. All right. We have Socian at $35. So you've got two pierced ears, earrings, a pair mm -hmm. of earrings, and the ring in this black stone, or I don't know if it's onyx or what it is, guys. And there's the mark. Okay. We've got Sosi. Oh, we've got April wants them, 36. So we've got April bidding on them for $36. So we've got April at 36. Thelma's jumped in at 40. That's a kick, not a karate chop, Thelma. We want That's to keep a beautiful it nice in set. Here. Yeah, it is. It's a gorgeous set. We've got Sozi coming back at 44. Oh, my God. This is going to be like a battle royale. I know it. Who's getting thrown over the top rope? Well, April's throwing somebody over the top rope. $45 to April. We have April at 45. Thelma, you, Sozi. Oh, Sozi comes in at 48. We've got Sozi at $48. And the earrings from the top to the bottom measure a little over two inches, like a two and a quarter inches in total length. They're not real heavy, are they? They're, they have a little weight to them, but they're not like, oh, I can't hold on to them. Do you just have like a little? You couldn't, yeah, mm -hmm. like I couldn't wear those for a party or something. Oh, okay. you can definitely wear them for a party, but you better not sleep oh, with them. Thelma just threw Sosi into the turnbuckle head first, $55. They went from <laughs> karate chopping to professional wrestling now. Oh, so she comes back. She comes back with a pile driver. So she's a 56. Yeah, Anna, that is a beautiful ring. Can we see the ring one more time too, please? That is a beautiful ring. And I like that wide band. The wide band is really nice on that. So we've got Sosi at, uh, you need to move your hand up to the right a little bit. Please, there you go. We've got Sosi at 56. Anybody else? Because I'm going to be doing going. Hold on. I had my fat fingers. Going once to Sosi for $56. Beautiful ring. That's right. I got the WWE subscription, Cindy. <laughs> I watch every one of them. The Thelma's out. She's tapped out. So we have Sosi going twice at $56. Does the um, Phantom Bouge Bear want to come in with the five knuckle shuffle? Nope. Okay, we've got Sosi at 56. Going three times. Fair warning, guys. This is it. Fair warning. Sold to Sosi for $56. Thanks, Sosi. And she's won the com Reseller Community International Heavyweight Belt. <laughs> Woohoo! Party time. Thank you, Sozi. And that was a beautiful match between you ladies. <coughs> okay, so what? No, this is number what? 14. Number 14. Number 13? 14. 14. And the price? What was the price? Baby? What was the price there on 14? Uh, 25. April, you want to type it in? Oh, I, think I think they knocked her out. When they threw over the top rope, okay, $25. And this ring, you want to move it down a little bit to the middle? This is a men's ring, right? And yeah. it's sterling silver, and it's got, like, what's the picture on the front? We can't it's see It's a it. Native American wearing a <clears throat> the, the headpiece. It's a eagle with red and red, green. Red and green. green. Oh, you guess got red and green in it too, huh? Yeah. And what's on and what's on the side? And there's what looks like chickens or roosters on the side. I wonder All if right, the, so, the picture would put up if you put it on the black piece of paper. And and since she says that uh, it's an Indian with that with the headband or head head headpiece, guys, we're telling you right now, we're gonna call this the non politically correct ring. We don't want to offend anybody out there, but this is a really cool ring. And I know any guy that this would fit would be proud to have it. What size is that, by the way? 
It looks like it's tough. We going it's up a, in size? It's a size six. Woo, I can't even wear that as a pinky ring. Okay, <laughs> so it's a size six. So, you know, oh, uh, Anna says unisex. Okay, that's cool. Very pretty ring. And that is, is that copper and brass or? Yeah, copper, copper, brass, and then it looks like chips of, looks like chips of coral and. And it's on sterling silver, right? Um, the sterling silver is the ring. Yeah. And, 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 the, and, and it's got copper and mm -hmm. chips of coral and something else and some, some brass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Hang right there. Well, I'm getting dizzy. Sorry. Hang right there. There we go. All right, guys, we got this at 20. What was it? I got to go back up. 25. The chat was moving. $25. So do we have, do we have any love for this uh, ring at $25? The size six. Uh, skinny man. That's right, Anna. That'd be for a skinny man, not a chunky man like me. Um, I don't think we're getting any love at, at 25. Do you want to lower it or do you love the ring? I'd rather keep it. Okay. So we'll just move on. Sorry. Let's move. No, that's all right. Let's move on. I, I really like this one. <laughs> And you guys know the drill. You can always message her and let her know. Okay, now this is sterling silver. Move it to the right a little bit, please. There we go. And that's a black stone. Wait, Thelma said, okay, I'm sorry, Thelma. She wants to keep it. You want to ask her about it? In a message? Yeah, yeah go Thelma ahead. Said, you want to sell that men's ring for 25 Because Thelma said she wants it. Sure. Yeah. Do you still want it, Doma? Give me a yes, please. I'm just waiting. Yes, Selma wants the it one with the Indian chief guy. I uh, know it breaks your heart, but. Thelma got it for $25. That one sold to Thelma for $25. Okay. So there was no love on this other one you were showing. Did you want to – what was the starting price on it originally? 20, 20 bucks? Wait, wait, I'm confused. We haven't actually even given it a chance yet. <laughs> oh, this one here? What What was the one right. on this one? though? I it out. So what was the price on this one then, please? 20. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. this is $20. And it's a size, I can't see. Eight? It, it's a little past seven and a half. It's almost like one before the eight. So it's uh, seven and three quarters, guys. 7.75. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks. It's sterling silver. Can we see the flower on the other side? And it's got this really nice, like, little flowery pattern, and it's a black stone, and it's twenty dollars. Do we have anybody that going to share want some of the love on this? Anybody loving on this thing? Hey, Carmen, glad you could make it. Hi, Carmen. And Layla, Layla's here too. Yep, that's right. Hey, everybody. Hi, Betsy. So we got uh, anybody interested in this ring for for twenty dollars? Tell you guys, these are some. Kind of old pieces. She's bringing out their good stuff. And we're going up in size from going down. So we got at seven and three quarter. All right. No love at $20. And All right. Do you, uh, do you love this ring and want to keep it or? No, we can sell it. I need to stop. You want to lower, where do you want to lower it to? 15? Yeah, we can. Yeah. All right, we guys. That's a that's a new price, 15. Layla says she's overloaded with silver. I imagine a lot. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Bougie. $15. Need to bring it over a little more to the center, please. We can see it. So any love on this ring for $15, guys? We got Cindy Loves Jewelry at 15. So Cindy has entered the ring. Who will be her challenger? That's it. Going to be a fist fight. All right, we got uh, the size again, Adam, is 
seven, almost seven and three quarters. I mean, if you push it down, it'd probably be seven and three quarters. So we've got Cindy Loves Jewelry at $15 on this beautiful ring going once. No challengers for uh, 16. Anybody for 16? All right. Tell you, we're going to keep going along here. Going to go going twice to uh, Cindy Loves Jewelry for 15. All right, guys. Oh, Adam comes in at 16. Oh, the mixed match now. Okay, we've got I Adam at 16. 16 going once at 16. And we're only going to move along kind of faster, guys, because we've got a lot more stuff to go through. We've got uh, uh, necklace sets, the uh, bangle sets, bracelet sets, more rings, and they've got the jewelry jar. Yeah. So we've got Adam at 16 going once. He went once. He's going to be going twice. Well, before I type it, thank you. Cindy at 17. We have Cindy at 17 going once. Not going to give you guys enough time to think about this. You need to make that decision now. Got her going once. Cindy at 17, going twice. Adam tapped out, or is he? We got Cindy <laughs> going twice at uh, $17. Going three times. Going to give you guys the fair warning. Cindy at $17. Fair warning. Sold. Sold to Cindy Loves Jewelry for $17. And thank you, Adam. Next time, you you know, you, you, you missed the five count. Sorry about that. All right. What's the next number? 16. Number 16. Number 16. We got another ring. This is sterling silver as well, right? Mm -hmm. And is that the black three black stones on it? Yes. There you go. There's there's one stone, two stone, and one on the other side. And is it sterling? And it starts at twenty five, guys. So we're going to put the price up, and it's marked nine two five. Yes, it's marked right here. Well, we can't see it, but I believe you. It's, what size is it? In here, in between. <laughs> and what size is that? It's seven. This is back in my skinny days, okay, people? Before the hamburgers. Before, oh, <laughs> don't talk food right now. I'm still thinking about the baguettes. Um, size seven, sterling silver, black stone. We don't know exactly what the stone it is. It's $25. Do we have any love? $25. That's a pretty ring. I can on it. Probably on it. Yeah, you think it's Onyx, Barb? I mean, mm -hmm. that April. I think it's Onyx. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this is one too. I wanted them to polish, and they yelled at me, "No, we're not polishing it." Okay, so we've got no love at twenty-five. Do you want? Do you love that ring, or do you want to sell it? Yes, Kathleen. Before kids, we can sell it. We can bring it down. All right, let's bring it down. The starting price is twenty bucks, guys. We got any love at twenty dollars on this ring? It's a size seven before the hamburger, or uh, before babies and when hamburgers, before hamburgers. All right, sterling silver, possibly black onyx. We're just and this is number. What was it again? There, assistant. Sixteen. Number sixteen. Okay, if we got no love, we're going to move on. If yes. you all want to, uh, if you all want to uh, uh, talk to Patty about it later. Send her an email, please. All right, this is lot 17. Guys, this is a sterling silver bracelet with amethyst. And this one I got beat up on because they said don't even dare mention polishing it. So that's the patina that's on there. It's sterling silver with amethyst. And it's what do they call them? Like a clamper bracelet. It opens up and then closes, right? Yes. And what is the uh, starting price on this, uh, April? $25. Thank you, April. Our lovely bougie bear assistant and Dia. Pardon? Hello? Yeah, what, I know. I saw 25. What was? What else did you have to say? Oh, I was asking you. We didn't sell the ring, previous ring? No, we yeah. didn't sell it. She's going to okay. go ahead and let them message her okay. if they want it later on. 
So this beautiful, beautiful bracelet is a clamper bracelet. There's the markings on it. It's 925 and comes with amethyst on it. $25. Did anybody got any love for this for $25? Is you looking for a, if it's a maker's mark on there instead? Yeah, it's a, it's a maker's mark, but it also has, let me try to see if I can try to show y'all, because this whole thing is a marking. There's a marking. Oh, the whole thing. I, yeah, I can't read it, but I can see it. Uh, Thelma no. wants to know, does it lock shut? Yeah, it has, like this, it doesn't lock. You have to, you go like this and you lock it. And then it locks like this. So the amethysts lock against each other. Yeah. Oh, I see how it is because it goes into the other one. So do we have any love for 25? Thank you, Adam. Anybody want to want to want a bracelet? At 25, any love for this at $25. We got Thelma at 25. Thank you, Thelma. Thelma at 25. And you know, guys, we're moving along. So I'm not even going to give you a chance. And you're going to go, oh, I should have, could have, would have, should have, could have. Wish I'd done it. You know, beautiful piece. You'll have to clean it yourself if you want, unless you love the patina. We got Thelma at $25 going once. I'm trying to show you all the markings because it's a pretty. It's really pretty marking, but I can't really tell what it is, but it's marked. Besides the sterling stamp on there, it's a marking. Is it solid or hollow? It's, it's not heavy, so I imagine it might be hollow. It's not like All right, we, super, super heavy. We got going twice at $25 to Thelma. We're guessing it's hollow because it's not real heavy. It locks, it's silver, marked silver, and it has amethyst. So we've got Delma going three times to Delma. Hey guys, fair warning. You're welcome, Barbara. Fair warning. Delma at $25. Sold. Sold at Delma for $25. Thank you, Delma. Where did my Kim go? Thank you very much. Okay, guys, we've got enough. Okay, you need to move it to the right. There you go. This is like a, what do we call this? A free-forming, like, sterling silver ring. It's this an thing is really, really beautiful with uh, the little sterling silver balls on it, and the band looks like each ball is part of the band, like it's a strand, you know, like on each one. Can we get the size? This is $25, guys. Very pretty. Kind of like a cock, which you'd wear to the cocktail. Out for cocktails with the ladies. Why are okay. you taking your martini? It's like from eight to eight and a half. Okay, this is the big ring, guys. Eight to eight and a half. Kathleen, Kathleen, come in at twenty-five before you, Sozy. Sorry about that. So we have uh, Kathleen at twenty-five. Anybody at twenty-six? Do we have anybody want to go twenty-six? We got Sozy and. At 25, going once, size eight, maybe a little bit bigger. It, it, it goes all the way to eight and a half, the band. Okay. All right. We got Sophie at 25 going twice. Very pretty ring, and it is sterling silver, correct? Yes. All right. It's not marked, but I actually... When it had this one tested at the pawn shop because it's really gorgeous and it we believe to be artisan made. Is that what Art, is, artisan, artisan made? It's artisan, artisan made. It's like kind of like when Sandy makes jewelry. Yeah, artisan. Yeah, an artisan made it and you had it tested at the pawn shop and it is silver. Mm -hmm. So we've got Thelma at 25 going three times. Fair warning, guys, coming up. Thelma's going to snatch this beautiful ring. All right, I gave you fair warning. Sold. Sold to Thelma for $25. Thank you, Thelma. That's a pretty ring, Thelma. That's going to look nice on you. Going to look real pretty. This is not lot number what? 19. 19? Number 
Did I wait a minute? Did I say Kathleen came in first? Wait a minute. I got people mixed up. Hold on here. This and that, Thelma 25. Yeah, I heard. Oh, you know what happened? I saw Thelma type something, or somebody said Thelma, and I thought it was Thelma. That's going to Kathleen, this and that. My bad. Wait, what? It's going to Kath Kathleen? Kathleen, this, this and that. Yeah. I saw Thelma's or, name. Is it Sosi? No, Sosi was. Uh, hold on, guys. God, I'm moving too fast. I'm sorry. I'm back, back up. Back up. Give me a minute here. Give me a minute. This and that, Kathleen came in before Sosie on my screen. I said, Kath, I did. I said, Kathleen, and then nobody else came in. And then I saw something about Thelma or whatever. And Thelma got on my brain and I started doing the Thelma thing. My bad, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> it goes to Kathleen. This and that for $25. Bad, Roland. Bad. No baguette for me. Okay, let's start over. I'm glad we I'm glad we caught that. Huh? I'll get you some cupcakes. Yeah, I know. Everybody promises me cupcakes. Um so this is the item number I'm sorry, people. I didn't mean to screw that up. I'm moving too fast. I'm not a pro like Dwayne. You're doing awesome, so, Mike. You know I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it. it. Oh, I appreciate it. So what number is this one? Nineteen. Number nineteen. Nineteen, and it is a bracelet. And it has a rocking chair. Oh, it's a charm bracelet. Mm -hmm. It's a starter charm bracelet. Starter. Okay. It had a rocking chair. And it has, uh, what's that say? Um, I can't read it. It actually has somebody's date of birth. Oh, somebody's date of birth on it. So, hey, guys. The Kathy, 1965. Oh, that's vintage. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's a Dan, Dan Craft. Dancraft and it's gold filled. And it's gold? Gold filled. Gold filled Dancraft for 10 bucks. So anybody want to get a starter charm bracelet? You could always swap out the charms. And how, how long is it? What's it measure? Is that about seven inches maybe? I believe so. Thank you, Kathleen. I'm, I'm struggling here. Dan Craft Goldfield. Thank you, uh, April. So it's seven inches, and you can remove the charms if you want. Ten dollars. Any love for ten dollars? The charm. This one's marked Dan Craft on it too, and this one's marked too. Dan Craft. Dan Craft. So the only charm that's probably not Dan Craft is the one that's got the person's birthday on it. Yeah, but I didn't want to oh. take it off. But you didn't. Okay, that's cool. So we have Anita in at 10. Has the safety class. Oh, and it has a safety. Okay, cool. The safety class. We have Cindy Loves Jewelry in at 11. Anita's back at 12. Anita's at 12. Cindy, do you want to go 13? Anybody want to go? Anybody want to give me 13? Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate it. All right, we got Anita, I've got it correct, at 12 going once. Any Loves Jewelry comes in at 13. Mary, you're right, right below Cindy. So Cindy Loves Jewelry has it. Cindy Loving has it at 13. We have Cindy Loves Jewelry at 13 going once. Sorry about that, Mary. You were just right under my screen. I really am sorry. We've got Cindy Loves Jewelry at uh, 13. Oh, Mary came in at 14. So we have Mary now at 14. And we have Anita at 15. So Anita at 15 on the Stan Craft Gold Field Charm Bracelet. We have Anita going once. We've got Anita at 15 going twice that's right adam we had a bidding race cindy's tapped out she says she's out mary do you want to go uh i gotta go back up uh you want to go 16 or you're gonna you're gonna pull a roll in and say i'm out or am i <laughs> okay we've got anita going three times at 15 
Got to make sure that's right. I don't want to do the boo-boo. 15. All right, guys, fair warning. All right. Sold to Anita for $15. The Dan Crap Charm Bracelet. Thank, Thank you, you, Anita. Thanks, very, Anita. Very nice. Very nice. All right, assistant, the next number, please. 20. Number 20. Oh, guys, this is a big necklace, man. Look at that. I don't even know what kind of stone that is. Uh, April's already put the price up while well, we're describing it. If you guys get, let's find out what it is. $15. Now, is it me or those look like rivets? Does that indicate vintage, guys? I'm trying to learn. So it does indicate, okay, vintage. But we weren't sure on the chain, right? We think this the chain is an afterthought or the extension or what? This is up. Yeah, I think maybe like the, past that point right there, maybe the chain has been changed on it. But the pendant like it broke or something and they added a chain? Yeah, I think. How, how long is yeah. that from one end to the other? We have uh, Kathleen. I'm getting it right this time. Kathleen at $15. Thank you for that bid, Kathleen, to open a bid. And it is vintage. Do We don't know what the stone or is it stone or glass or? It, it is cold, but I don't, I don't know what, what stone it is. Okay, and so from top, spring. so from top to bottom, what was the total length with that chain close? So thirteen. So that, okay. So, oh, it's thirteen from the very top to the very bottom. It's like fourteen. It's no, like, it's like twelve and a half. Four, like fourteen or something. Yeah, at the end of the thing. Oh, okay. okay, so Kathleen's got it at fifteen dollars. Going once. Have we got anybody else interested at 16? Anybody want to give 16 for this? So that uh, Cindy says that would be 26 because you double the 13. So the total opened up is 26. Okay, thank you very much. See, I learned something even here, man. Okay, we've got Kathleen at fit. Oh, Elaine Cassian Casino comes in at 16. So we've got hi Elaine, thanks for being here. We got Elaine at 16 going once. All right, guys. Vintage uh necklace, 26 inch chain, appears to be glass or stone. Stone, yeah. Not sure, and it's got some rhinestones, rhinestones on the side. Um Kathy Valentine Valentine wants to know, do you ship to Australia? No. Sorry, no. Kathleen. She said she can't ship to Australia this time, so I'm sorry. Um, okay, we had Elaine at 16, going once, going twice. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that, uh, Kathy, about not, not shipping to Australia. I don't know how. Well, actually, what you would do is you would do the actual weight, and then you would take it to the post office. You would tell them this is going to Australia. You would fill out a claims form, which you would put the price that they paid for the item and what it is. You sign it, and then it gets shipped to them. That's the extra step is filling out the claims form or the declaration form or whatever. It's a little green form. You'll put the necklace. You'll put the value, whatever it sells for, and then you'll sign it, and then it goes. That's it. It's out of your hands. But it's up to you, yeah. Patty. If you're not comfortable doing it, I mean, it is very expensive to strip uh, ship. Also, though. She'll be paying the actual shipping. So whatever the actual shipping is going to be, you know, she, she'll she be paying it. I mean, I can try. I've never done it. So I don't want to tell. No, the, post the, post office, the, post the post office is not going to steer you wrong. They're just going to put the form in front of you say, put down what it is. You'll put necklace. And then you're going to say, the, declare the value. Say it's 15 bucks or 20 bucks, you put the money down and then you sign it and date it and you give it to them and that's it. Okay. That's all, and then and she, she pays the actual shipping, whatever. If it costs 20 bucks to ship, she's going to pay 20 bucks. I mean, that's the part of I being. Mean, I, can, I can try. I mean, I can okay. definitely try and do it. I don't want to like 
wait, wait. You want to buy? Boo, you got you got going three times there. Kathleen, did you? Kathy, did you want to? Did you want to bid? She said she'd try it. Do you want to try it or do you want to pass before I call sold? Because I'll do fair warning. I'm going to do fair warning. Oh, there's um, custom fees and everything. You don't pay that. They pay that. You don't pay any fees. Uh, they're trying to help Kath, Kathy out to figure. Adam's asking what city. I yeah, I'm, I'm trying no. to see if I she can says tell. Not, she says not on this one. So fair warning, guys. This went Thanks. to, sold to, I got to go back up. I want to get it right. Was it was it Kathleen? This and that? Elaine. Oh, wait. Eileen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eileen for, Elaine for $16. Thanks, Elaine. Whew, I avoided another accident almost. <laughs> You're doing good, Mike. You're doing good. Oh, Zombie says it looked like Mir Mir Miriam Haskell, but it's not. There's another designer that works like that, and the stone looks like a jadeite. And April or Theo was saying something about jadeite, right? That jade is interwoven. That's why it's called the unbreakable stone. And jadeite kind of like overlaps, right? Right, Dia? Kind of overlaps the other one. Um, jade is stronger than. Jade, I did. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got that squared away. Hey, guys. And it's always a teachable moment here at the University yeah. of Rolling Picker. Drop that knowledge, Dia. Drop yeah. it. And, yeah. And if you don't want to drop the knowledge, drop and give me 10. All right. What's the next item? <laughs> 21. Number 21. 21. And this is a bag of necklaces. And is this all sterling necklaces? Um, these sterling tone. Oh, sterling tone. Sterling. Silver tone. So silver tone chains. Ten dollars silver tone chains. How many are there? And they won't be coming to you tangled, guys. But that's actually one. It's got chain with the flowers, and it's got pearls and some snake-looking stuff on it. Pretty gothic. This is actually a Monet. Oh, it's a Monet. You know what, Monet? Adam, what is Monet? Equal what? Money. Frugal girl. Money. So that's a Monet. Ooh, that's a, and it's a, a big long chain. one. It's a big chain. It's yes, big. it's a long Monet. I've never seen one that long, personally. That's not doubled over? Yeah, it's doubled. That's huge. Monet plus money. That's right. It's about 26 doubles, so double that. What? So 52, 52 inches open. So that's what they call them. What, what kind, I don't want to say what they call them. Anyway, $10 was the starting price. Uh, Carmen Gonzalez, Carmen's in at $10. Is that one a Monet or just a regular old? Just a regular one. So we've got two regular ones. And a Monet. Carmen's in at 10. Thank you, Cindy. Says, yes, 52 inches. So that's a big necklace. You could like double that around, couldn't you? you yeah. Could dub double. Yeah. And this one is how long with it like that? Carmen. No, Carmen, this you've got the bid, Carmen, at 10. You can't outbid yourself. 24. All right, 24. I see Anna in at eleven, Carmen. You, Anna's in at eleven. Don't uh, Kathleen's in at sixteen. Guys, refresh your screen and make sure you're on. Um, make sure you're on live chat, okay? And this is the other one. Okay, so we've got like three hook and long chains, four hook four. and long chains. All uh, silver tone and one Monet. Okay, Kathleen had it at 16. Carmen has it at 18. So, got Carmen at, at, at 18. And a freebie. And a freebie. She's tossing this in. I have no idea what it is, guys. It looks like a, is that like a shell maybe for, yeah. is that metal that's just manipulated? This is silver tone and this looks like a, Seashell. Does it rotate or stay there? It oh, rotates. it turned. Okay, need to get it in the middle, please, so we can see it rotate. Very good. All right, we got Carmen 
going once at 18. Four necklaces, silver tone, one Monet, and a freebie. You guys can't beat that. But a stick. And that is awesome, man. The multiple strands, the flowers. We got Carmen at going twice at eighteen dollars. No, ladies, I'm moving fast. I'm not doing it for any other reason than to get through this. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, Anita, you haven't even seen the the rest of it. And we've got a killer jewelry jar coming up. Lynn, wake up! Don't fall asleep at the screen. Susan Gill. Susan just came in at twenty. So we have Susan going once at 20, four necklaces, one Monet in that lot. Carmen goes to 21. I'm not going to, now I know why Dwayne gets mad at me. I get ready to type and then they come in and they bid, they're pulling a roll and you know, they took their lessons well. So we have Carmen at $21 going once. Four necklaces, one Monet, and a freebie. I'll take that over a poke in the eye with a sharp stick any day. We've got Carmen at 21 going twice. That's an interesting link. Yeah, it's That's really cool. cool. I like that. And it's really heavy. Uh, Vanessa, this is uh, Patty, also known as Patty Feb, like February. And mm -hmm. she has an awesome channel. She does jewelry. Susan is out. So, where was that bid at? That was Carmen at 21. And she does great videos on jewelry jar openings and all kinds of things. Going three times to uh, Carmen for $21. Fair warning, Thank guys. You. Fair warning. You know, I'm snap my fingers now. Snap. Sold. Sold to Carmen for $21. The nice. <laughs> I didn't see a, a signature on it, Dia, just on the Monet, not on this one. Well, Thank you, Vanessa. Right on. So Carmen got it for $21. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. She, want, she wanted that Monet because it's money. All right, assistant, the number? Uh, 22. 22, and this is a really cool brooch. She's showing you the, wait till she turns it sideways, guys. It's like 3D, three-dimensional. This thing is pretty. It's got uh, the blue blue stones in it. It's raised up. And did we find any marks on this? It has the mark right here. I'm going to try to see if I can read it. If not, I'm going to get my good pair of eyes over here. Okay. In the meantime, the price on this brooch, guys, it's fifteen dollars, and Sosie's in at fifteen. I wrote it down. It's M and oh, you wrote it down? Yeah, it's M and S, and it's Goldfield. M and S and Goldfield. Can you type it, it in the in the chat? I sure can. One twenty Goldfield. Yeah. Two K Goldfield. Yeah. One twenty Goldfield. Okay, yeah. M and so S one twenty gold fill. Gold glitter, guys. Like that. So nice piece, beautiful piece. Fifteen dollars. So she's got it for fifteen dollars. So we know all about this piece. Beautiful brooch, by the way. I love it. It's own oh, once. And even the back part has rhinestones. That's cool, man. Oh, Josie, come in at sixteen. Thank you, Josie, for that sixteen dollar bid. Sozy, do you wanna, you wanna raise? Sozy, come right back at seventeen. Trying so I've got seventeen. Can I get eighteen? Sorry, Francis, you came in under Sozy. Yeah, Lynn, it's a beautiful blue. There's Anna, the. Josie's in at eighteen. Josie came in at eighteen. Now, do we, uh, Francis? I don't know if you're just behind him. Nostalgia, uh, Sozi's in at 22. Sorry, Francis. You might want to refresh and make sure you're on live chat because I don't want you to miss out on this stuff. It's getting, it's just getting bigger and bigger, the lots. Francis in at 23. Thank you, Francis, for that $23. Thank you, Adam, for asking. Glass or stone? Jeez, uh, I don't know. What did we determine, guys? They're prong set, and from my... 
I, I can't. Like glass? Because, I mean, they probably wouldn't be natural stones. These pieces, when they were gold-filled and made like this, was to mock um, fine jewelry, to make it look like fine jewelry. But it's a good quality. That's, like, you know, really nice. And okay, it's so open from the back. But more than likely glass. Right, more so. than likely glass, but it's a quality piece. Okay, Sozie came in at 20. Five, Francis in at 26. Sozie's back in at 28. Yes, Hannah, it is a beautiful piece. Can we see the front again? I just love looking at the blue stones, man. And what it has like? a little loop to be for a chain. Oh, like you can hook a chain on it and dangle something from it? Cool. cool. Oh, so you can wear it as a pendant or a brooch. Mm -hmm. Right on. Francis in at 30. Sozie's tapped out. Okay, so we're going to be going to Francis going once, 30. One going one. That's right. Going one, going one. I had to repeat myself. I'm so excited. But that's called a stutter in chat. Uh, we've got going twice for $30 to Francis. Anybody else? You're getting like a brooch and a pendant. That's a classy piece. $30 going three times, third time. You guys know this is the fair warning. Yeah, Cindy, I think it is old. Yeah, for sure. All right. Sold to Francis for $30. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Francis. She got a beautiful piece. M and okay. Cindy loves jewelry says MS went out of business in 1950. So chances are that's probably older than 1950. We told you guys. Wow, thank you. Cindy. We told you guys vintage. That's what I put in the title. Her vintage sterling silver, all kinds of cool stuff. So, and thank you, uh, thank you, um, Francis, for that bit of thirty dollars. Thank you. Congratulations, uh, assistant. The lot number twenty-three. Twenty-three. Thank you, assistant. You're doing an mm -hmm. awesome job. The Vanna White of auctions. Okay. <laughs> Can I buy a vowel? Uh, the price on this is fifteen dollars, and it was twenty-three. And what is this? Uh, is this another necklace lot, or it's a gold tone necklace lot? Ooh, a gold tone necklace lot, guys, for fifteen bucks. Any makers marks? Um, there's a gold Monet. Got a gold tone Monet in there, guys. And, it's, Ooh, and it looks like another long one. And it's it three. A, it's three strands? Yes. It's three strands. Oh, wow. And it's 52 right. inches. 52 inches. Gold tone Monet, three strand. So you know you've got a Monet in this, guys. At least 15 bucks starting bid. And she's going to try to show you the mark. Back up a little bit and flip it up just a little for the light. I can see the Monet. Monet. And Adam, what does Monet equal? $15, guys. That's just the first break, uh, necklace. What's the next necklace? Another. Man, that's another long one. This one does not have a mark, and it, but it is really cool chain. I mean, it's really nice. Really cool chain. So we're just going to say these necklaces are easily over 30 inches. I mean, because you're holding them up, and that's a pretty long spread. Same thing here. Oh, they call them, uh, Cindy says they're hoo-ha links. Whatever that is. I don't know what hoo-ha is. Thank you, Cindy. Barbara is in at 15. Thank you, Barbara. That's Babsy 1316, Barbara. Ooh, look at that's cool. What is that on the end? Is that silver it's or? It's a pearl. Oh, it's a pearl. Not All a right. real one. It or just looks like a pearl. Or it looks like a pearl. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got Barbara in at 15. And this is how many necklaces? It's one, two, three. Three, One, four, two, three, four, five, six. six necklaces. Six necklaces, one Monet, and Anna's got the bid at 16. They're gold tone, guys. 
Luminaire. 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 So whatever Luminaire is. Ooh, pretty. All right, so we've got two marked pieces. Angie's bid at $21. This one's a little, sh a little shorter one. I, I know what a hoo-ha is, Kathleen. I was just trying to be polite. <laughs> 17 inches doubled. So so that's 34 open. All right. Uh, Babsy's in at 22. Selena says, I love the flapper line. Oh, look at that, guys. That's like a cross with a bunch of chains hanging on it. That's like, that's that could hurt somebody. Uh, Kathy's in at uh, 25. Now, Kathy's in Australia. We're going to do the ship in Australia, right? We said we're going to try. Right? Yes. Okay, so Kathy, your bid 25 is good. Sorry, Susan. Susan's out. So Kathy's got the bid at 25. Barbara's come back at 26. Man, guys, six necklaces, gold tone, two named, and one of them is a Monet. God, it's beautiful stuff. All right, so we've got Barbara at 26 going once. No karate chops from uh, Kathy or anybody else. Anybody want to go 27? We've got Barbara at 26 going twice. Kathy comes back. From the land down under, she's not going to be done up like that. Karate chop. Would that be a kangaroo kick for 27? <laughs> kangaroo kick. That's right. We love kangaroos and koala bears. So we got Kathy at 27 going once. Yep, that's right, Adam. Barbara's tapped out. I guess the kangaroo kick did it. That's right, Adam. Monet is money. And we've got Kathy going twice at $27. Barb, are you out or are you pulling a rolling picker? Hey, Swamp, glad you're here, brother. You see that one? Her husband made that one, but that's not for sale. Going three times, guys. I'm going to give you a fair warning. This is going to be going to Kathy. Sold to Kathy. From down under Australia <laughs> for twenty-seven dollars. Thank you, Kathy. Can't say that. Thank you, Kathy, for the bid. She must have been out, Adam, because she didn't pull a. She didn't come back like a rolling. Well, hold on, assistant. What number is this? Twenty-four. Number twenty-four. Let's move right along, guys. It's one, two, three, four, five necklaces. Uh, are they silver tone, sterling silver? What are they? Um, I have three sterling silver looking one. Oh, Aurora Borealis bead. Is that glass? Yes. And a rhinestone. Rhinestone. And a rhinestone. And, it's, and do they have any marks on them? No. Okay, cool back. So but you but you're saying they're silver tone. Yeah, most of them are all silver tone. So for okay, the glass. Silver tone. Fifteen dollars, guys. And you said four necklaces? Yes. Four necklaces and one of them is a glass uh, Aurora Borealis bead. And those things when you get the light, man, they're beautiful. Five they pieces. Change. Yeah, oh five pieces. They change colors. Five. So do we have any love for fifteen dollars? How long is that one? Is that one of them hoo hoo be or what do they call them? Bracelets or necklaces or whatever they call them? Ho ha, hee ha. I don't know. Right at seven and a half, doubled. 17, you mean? Mm -hmm. 17 and a half. So that's 35. Okay, so Anna's in at $15 on this five necklace lot. And that is glass for sure, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aurora Borealis, guys. That's some beautiful stuff. Sorry, Carmen. Anna on my screen came in at 15. If you want it, dear, you're going to have to come up one buck at least. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, that is a lot of uh, 
Aurora Borealis. So that's a lot of glass. And yep, flapper length. Okay, so we've got Anna at 15 going once. Oh, wait, Sherry says she only saw two. Let's see the five necklaces. Let's say that's one. I'm moving. Oh, the rhinestone, she's a little behind. That's two. There's the rhinestone. Carmen's in at 16. So that's two. This one is three. And and it is a, it's not n named or nothing, right? No. And I like the way they knotted those uh, little, little things there. So Carmen at 16, that's three, right? Then there's this one is. The was chain three, one. Was number three, right? One, two, yeah. three. The and then where's the four? The borough. Four is a bor Aurora Borealis. And then another and rhinestone one. Another rhinestone necklace. That's five. So, okay, Sherry came in. Sherry Berry came in at 17. So that's five guys for $17. That's a good price, man. I mean, 18. Carmen, Carmen knows value when she sees it, too. All of them do. 18. 19 by Sherry. So is this going to be a wrestling match or karate chops? Hey, John, how's it going? Carmen back in at $20. That's a beautiful rhinestone. Can, and we it see it on your head Can we see it on your headless model? Sure. At, uh, that is pretty. Can you see it? And that model lost its head over that, over that necklace. And it's because they love rhinestones. So Carmen in at 20. We're going to do Carmen at 20 on five necklaces going once. Oh, Sherry's out. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your bids, uh, Sherry. We appreciate it. We've got Carmen at, at 20 going twice. Yeah, I love that Aurora Barrios, man. I, I, Any time I see brooches like that, I go, I go nuts over that stuff. All right. We've got Carmen at $20 going three times. Okay, guys. Fair warning. Fair warning. It's coming up here. Fair warning, Carmen at $20. Sold to Carmen for $20. Thank you, Carmen. Hey, John, thanks for coming by, brother. Love having you here. Several more antiques just showed up. All right, and assistant, this is number? 25. 25. And this is a what? A necklace set or sterling silver or? Did I pull me? And it's a. Uh... This is Brighton. It's a Brighton necklace. Oh, this yeah. is a bright Brighton necklace, ah. guys. I forgot about Brighton necklace, and it starts at ten dollars. It has the crown circle thingy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Then that's Premier Designs. <laughs> that one's actually Premier Designs. How'd that make it in there? I don't know, because I thought we'd, that we had said that both of them are Brighton. Oh, yeah. Wait, what is it saying? Hold on. I got Mary got a bit of tan. We'll take that bid, Mary, if you want to. We got we to gotta work out the necklaces. We want to make sure we got the right thing. I know. I'm not. I'm not. I know that's the necklace that we saw, but I never looked at the tag. She told me it was Brighton. <laughs> so okay, so is there is, is there one bright that. is there one is there one yeah. Brighton in the lot? Yeah, so there is. What we've got it's is great. we've got a mixed we've got a mixed lot. We've got a Brighton and a Premier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just show the Brighton now while the assistant is checking out the tag. It's the Brighton. That's cool. It all works. We we want to make sure we get it right. This is the Brighton guys. Nice piece. So, Mary, it's not two Brightons. It's one Brighton and a Premier. Are you still interested at 10? I want to make sure you get what you want. Well, it doesn't matter. Josie came in at 15. So, Mary, if you want to get back in, uh, you want you interested at 16? Mary was interested at 10. Josie did a 15. That's the clasp. And it's got a toggle clasp. 
So we've got Joe. Okay, so we've got the Brighton here that we're seeing. And then we have a premiere, it's called? No, if that's a separate premiere, it was a separate piece. It was oh, it was a separate, a separate piece. piece. This is just one? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, that's you to... my bad. I, I made a mistake because I thought it was a two-piece necklace. Um, the letters, there's no letters. It's just a crown. This looks like a... So, guys, I screwed up again. I thought it was a two-piece set, and it's a one-piece. Do you still want it, uh, Josie, for 15? I want to make sure everybody gets what they want and they understand. It's my mistake. I jumped the gun when I saw the two. I thought it was a double. Yeah. Josie was... says I'm fine. She said, yeah, she wants that one Brighton for uh for 15 so we've got one brighton 15 dollars to uh josie going once sorry mary the, i guess the other piece will be coming up later unless you want the brighton um we've got josie at 15 dollars going twice sorry for the screw up guys i feel bad i'm sorry it was me bad rolling 17. That's a total length of 17. So opened up, what is that, like 34? Cool. So we've got Josie at 15 going three times. Fair warning, guys. Sorry about the mix up. Maybe we should take a break and get the or the, the lots right, get them figured out. I'm sorry. I got no, that's so fine. Hey, bar hey, Barb's here. That was fair warning. Sold. Sold to Josie for $15. That's right, BCP. Naughty cupcake. Hey, Mike. Yeah. What we can do is we can just skip 26 all together and we'll go on 27. Yeah, it's 26 where the mix up is? No, yeah. yeah. We can just scratch out 26 because we don't have two bright necklaces. And okay, we'll so jump to, jump to 27. Okay. This is 26. No, but you can do that one. What's the next one? Twenty twenty seven. Oh, you got another helper? Yeah. Is she rebagging him? Is she rebagging him? Yeah. Let's say hi to the other helper. Hello there, other helper. Right <laughs> on, pretty smile. You got beautiful kids. Thank you. And thank you, uh, Josie, for the bid. And thank you guys for being patient with me. So what is this now? Twenty seven. Yes. And 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 it's screw back earrings. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. One second. Where where did uh, the bright necklace go? We replaced. I'll let you guys we replaced. It. We have it in the bag twenty six. Okay. We this had so to Granny Josie. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to know. It did sell the Brighton one. Yeah, it was the premiere. The I, I think that's what you said, premiered the crown thingy. So that yeah, we that we one, put that out. So is that that one, one we just put to the side, but how much for Joe on 15. that? 15. Okay, thank you, Dia. You're okay. welcome. That's 26. That's 26. It's 26. Oh, thank you. You good? I want to about this. Mm -hmm. Just get in between. Just put 25 back in the bag. We're good. Okay. <laughs> so nobody wanted it? Okay. Are we back? Okay. okay. Did you guys get it figured out? Yeah. And look, we're going to have to step it up at 610. We've got I'm sorry. The MS no, we've got the MSP auction at 7. I don't want to cut into Dwayne's time. So okay. do do. let's just move along, guys. Okay. So right. this piece is uh, what you guys got it figured out. Open so bids 20. 27. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hold them up so we can see them. 27. There's silver. 27. Silver. Is that like mm -hmm. a moonstone or something or uh, amethyst or what is that? They're they're like moonstones. They're like they're like a milky clear color. Okay. They're screwed back, sterling silver, and then they actually have a mark on them. They're so she's in at twenty dollars. 
The sterling silver is on the screw back and then the marking of the designers on the inside. It's actually an art, an artist, artist, artisan. Artisan piece. Okay. We've got uh, Barbara's in at 21. Sosie's back in at 22. We've got 22. Anybody going to go 23? Because we want to get to that jar, guys. 23 for Barbara. We got 23 for Barbara going once. It has handcrafted and the designer's name. Handcrafted? What's the designer's name? Uh, Sosie's in at 25. Can you read the designer's name or is it? Um... It's too small. Okay. We've got My Sosie. Daughter's okay. We've got Sosie at 25 going once. We've got Barbara back in at 26. Barbara, Sosi at 30. We have Sosi at 30. Anybody going to go 31? We got Sosi at 30, 30 going once. Anybody else? We've got Sosi. We've got Barbara at 31. So we have Barbara going 31, going once at 31. We've got Sosi at 35. 35. Going once to Sosi at 35. Anybody else? Barb, you in, you out, you pulling a rolling? Are you? I don't know. Barb. We've got Sosi going twice at 35. <laughs> Barbara comes back at $40. So we have Barbara, Babsy 1316 at $40 going once. Anybody else? Sosi coming in. At 45. So we have Sosi at 45. Sosi at 45. Going once. These are some pretty cool earrings, guys. Pretty cool earrings. Bar Barbara says she's out. And yeah, the, yeah, it does look like a uh, painter's palette. We've got uh, Sosi going twice at 45. Anybody else? Barbara's out. Sosi going three times to Sosi. I don't know, Adam. Is she out? But well, we're going to find out because Sosi at uh, $45. Fair warning. Sold. Sold to Sosi for $45. Thank you, Sosi. Okay, the next lot, 28. 28. Okay, we've got a set of Monet earrings. And is that all that's in the lot? And some milk glass. And some milk glass earrings. So two pairs of earrings. One is Monet, and you know what Adam says. Monet equals money. Okay, open bid is $10. Do I have anybody wanting to give us $10 for this Monet pair of earrings and these milk glass? Uh, can we see the white ones too, please? In the front there. There you go. Back up a little bit. Uh, up and up a little bit. Mary in at 10. Thank you, Mary, for that bid. To the right a little bit. Keep going. Because see, our names block. Our faces block the screen. There you go. Okay, Mary was at 10. Francis at 11. We've got Francis at 11. Mary's back at 12. Mary at 12. We're going to call these fast guys. Going once. Wait, that's Kapong. Well, that's a uh, space language for going once. Oh, so we got... Francis back in at 13. Mary comes back at 14. We got Mary at 14, and we're going to speak English. Uh, Francis at 15, we're going to speak English. Going once at 15. All right. Mary's at 16. Francis at 17. Francis at 17. Mary at 18. All right. These ladies are kung fu fighting. There are some. Some tops are flying. Mary at 18. Francis, you're going to give me 19 on them? Oh, Mary, you're lagging. I'm sorry. Can you refresh real quick? Francis at 19. Francis at 19. We got Francis at 19 going once. I'm sorry you're lagging, Mary. I'm trying to give you enough time to get back in here. Francis... Got him at 19 going twice. Francis 
at 19. Going three times. Fair warning, guys. Why can't you bid 20? Oh, you can't bid 20 or it won't let you? Or she says she can't bid 20. So I'm sorry. Sold to Francis for 19. I'm assuming it says you can't bid 20, so you couldn't make the bid, Mary. That's fine. I appreciate you bidding anyway. Oh, it won't let you bid? Did it say um, Did it say uh, you typed too many times? Because it does that to me. It's signed right okay. there. Oh, it's signed right there, Monet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move on. I'm sorry about that, Mary. Yeah, I get the same message all the time, guys. Believe it or not, I got it when I was doing the going three times. I I started to type it and punch punch it, and it said I had to wait. So, so this is lot number twenty nine, right? Yes. And these are what kind of? Uh, these are clip-on earrings. Mm -hmm. These are mm -hmm. daisies with a yeah. stones in them. They're ten dollars, and it's a lot, right? Yes. Those are pretty cool. They remind me of like back when I was a kid. And then we have these white ones, no markings on them. No. Okay, so these are just regular jewelry, guys. Clip. These are all clip-ons. Well, all clip-ons. Clip and one screw back coral. One screw back. Uh, did. So this kind of like flowers and mm -hmm. uh, uh, round thingy. All right. So we've got two clip-on, one screw back, one regular round with the halo crystals three pairs sherry three pairs of earrings ten dollars is the opening bid <coughs> do we have any anybody want for ten dollars there's these they're clip on and then there's the other flower ones there's those those are those are clip on as well and then there's a pair of the daisy like, and they're screw backs. So if we've, okay, we've got Selena for $10. Anybody else want to go more than 10? Got Selena at 10 going once. These are kind of like a Selena's alley, man. She likes the, the funky looking stuff. Okay. We've got Sherry Berry at 12. Oh. Thank you for that bid, Sherry. Thank you for your bid, Selena. We've got Can you hold Sherry them a Perry. little steady? There you go. Yeah, going once for 12. We got Anna at 13. Sorry, Sherry. Your Sherry, you already had 12. And Selena's John Brown, I'm out. Sherry at 14. Sorry, you want to pull back just a little bit and come. Yeah. There you go. We've got Sherry at 14. Going. Okay. Susan at 15. Sorry, Anna, if you did 14 and a half, it's going to be a 15. I'm like Jane. I'm like uh, Dwayne. We do. Uh, we, we round up. So uh, Susan had it at 15. Anna at 16. And at 16, going once. But guys, it's coming near to 6.30, and I, I want to get some more stuff in and get to the jar. Because you're going to love the jar. Going twice. I know, Sherry, it, it'll do that. It does it to me, too. It frustrates me in the MSP auctions. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and slow down a little bit so Sherry... Isn't getting timed out or anybody else. Going three times to Anna for 16. I'm hanging on for you, Sherry. Honest, we're going to be doing um, final warning. Fair warning, final warning. 
Sold. Sorry, Sherry. Sold to Anna for $16. Hey, guys, we've only got like nine minutes or so. I don't want to go. Well, it's almost going to be 625 coming around. Sorry, Sherry. Hold on. Give him a peek of that. But the thing is, we've got a few more other pieces. Do you guys want to want to go all the way up to quarter to seven? Will that give you enough time to make Dwayne's auction? Okay, you can hide that um, now because I see a more hey. in there. Uh, yeah. The Anna said, "Bill me and send to Selena." So you're going to bill Anna for the uh, the flower earrings, but you're going to ship them to Selena. So, okay. so I'll right. get you Selena's address. I got I'll get it. you Selena's address. So, you, oh, you got it. You can figure it out mm -hmm. and bill Anna. That's sweet of you, Anna. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations, congratulations to Anna and uh, Selena. So, how many more? Lot, I mean, we we had fifty lots, guys. Do we want to get into some of the uh, some of the other stuff? What do you think, there, April? There was, I know, there was some James Avery. Does anybody well, want to? Maybe we can. Um... Maybe we can just keep going and maybe do okay. the, a couple more due to the jar. And then after, if people want to join us, we can finish the rest of them because we don't have too, too many to go. So you're saying like do up a couple more. Do and the, then the jar. And then maybe after the auction with come, um, in, for a, come in for a round two. If people want to come back and join us, they can and we can finish it off. We could do a round two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just put up another chat and we'll just start it up. And do a round two. So let's keep going. I'm sorry about that, Sherry. I know it's frustrating as all get out. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. We'll see what we can Mike, do. Oh, you got to go can, back uh, in the landscape. Just for just for this, you could make them a moderator, and that should that should allow them to do more bids and stuff for the people that are really active. If you want to make them a moderator, just for now, and then. So who wants to be a moderator? Sherry, I'm going to make you a moderator so you can uh, so you can bid. Don't go to bed. Do you have to turn your camera on? Here, All right, Mary, because you guys are bidding and you're getting timed out, and I'm sorry. All right. Um, What's the next lot number? And I'll just I'll just keep watching for me, and then when I see me, I'll make you guys a moderator. So refresh your screens because I already did it for you too. Okay. Okay. This is a net. Uh, what lot is this? Thirty. Thirty. Huh? Thirty. Thirty. Yes. This is lot number 30, and it is just one necklace, or is it a couple? It's just one. And this is a silver necklace, sterling silver? Yes. And how? And is it signed by anybody? Um, no, I don't see any signatures on it. Does it say 925? Yes, it says 925 Italy. Right here. 925, and that lays very nice. This is the inside. This is the outside. And there's no kinks, and it is uh, 925 silver. Mm -hmm. And the opening bid is 25. Okay, guys, we got Sosi in at 25. Yeah, it's a pretty thick. So it's uh, it's about a quarter inch. About a quarter inch thick. Sherry, you still here? We got Sozi at 25. Sozi at 25. It has that round oh. shape to it. So when you when no kinks and when you put it on, it kind of lays flat around your neck. Yeah, That's it has cool. that it has that round shape to it. Yeah, it's a collar style necklace with like a diamond pattern on it. Thank you, April. I didn't know what to call it other than it's shiny. Mary in at 27. Thank you, Mary. Mary's at 27. Anybody want to go 26? We got Mary at 27 going once. How long is it? 
Um, they're saying, is it plated? I don't know if it's plated. I think it's... It's so it's silver that when the light hits it, it almost gives it like a really bright where the little diamond is at. It looks brighter. Where the diamond cut is. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so you got to go higher than 26. Mary has it at 27. It's, Mary, it's at 17. And it's marked 925 Italy, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and them Italians aren't cheap. I know. We're, we're, I'm Italian. Okay, so he's in 28. Owen once at 28. Mary's in at 30. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Sozy, but yeah, you were just down below her. So Mary's in at 30. We got uh, Sozy's out. Mary at 30 going what? Going, hold on, guys. My fat fingers are going once. Sozy says she's out, or is she? Everybody likes to do a rolling every now and then. Got Mary going uh, thirty dollars going twice. We've got Mary at thirty dollars going three times. Okay, guys, we're gonna get fair warning here. Ah, Sozy pulled a dang rolling thirty one dollars. So he snuck in there. She did a rolling. Proud of you, Sozy. You did well, Grasshopper. So Mary comes back at 32. She's not going to be outdone. So Mary at 32. Sozy comes back at 35. Guys, this is 925 it Italy. And it's a diamond cut. What did April call it? Diamond cut uh, flat laying necklace thingy. It's a collar. It's a collar necklace. And it has a collar. diamond pattern diamond pattern. Cut too. Diamond cut. okay diamond cut. and that diamond cuts what sets off the uh the silver so mary yeah. came back at 36 so she came back at 38 mary's back at 39 obviously making her a moderator has helped her with the bidding we have mary 39 hi deb's treasures yep you're late we're going to be wrapping it up here in about 20 minutes so you still got time. We got mm -hmm. Mary at 39. Up. Oh, Sozy got in at 40 as I hit the going once. Mary at 41. We have Mary at 41. And I don't want Sozy to get timed out either. I want to be fair to everybody. So Mary at 41. And then Sozy comes in at 45. Okay, we got Sozy at 45. Going once. And Mary is pooped out. Or poop out. I'm out. So that's Sozy at 45. Going twice. Yeah, I think we're going to do an auction. Thank you, Angie. I think we're going to do an auction part two, guys, because we had 50 lots of vintage jewelry. I really think we should save the jar for the second part, but I'm going to leave that up to you ladies. Um, we've got Sosi at 45. Owen three times. Fair warning, guys. Get in here if you can. Sold. Sold to Sosi for $45. All right, this is lot 31, right? Or 32? Yes. 31. 31, and this is a James Avery, correct? Yes. This Both is a James seven. Avery piece, guys, and it's marked. The earth is marked on the bottom. The earth is marked on the bottom, and the chain is marked James Avery. On the clasp. On the clasp. Yep, Thelma's right. Lots of viewers take advantage uh, due to... How many people do we have watching, by the way? Anybody know? It says 65. Wow, we're getting up there, guys. We're setting a record. Okay, so what's the opening price on this James Avery piece? Thank you, Thelma. 
Thank you, Francis. I started it at 40 already. How much? 40. 40. 40. Four zero. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're at 40. Well, what's the 66 and 65? Is that the viewers? I think so. I think it is the viewers. So, Barbara, is that your bid at 40? Now she says 70. What are we doing here? Hold on, guys. Where's the bid at? Oh, that's people. Okay, so the opening bid on this is $40. Bar Barbara, did you have the opening bid at 40? She says yes, I think she's saying yes. Okay, so Barbara has it at 40. Yeah, Adam, we'll do the jar. So we've got Barbara at $40. Absi 1360 on his James Avery. And it, it's, I got one little knot in it that I'm trying to take out. I'm sorry. It just happened right now while I was trying to move it. Is it, is you getting it out? Yeah. It's okay. Out. So we've got Barbara at $40 going once on this James Avery piece. It is marked on the globe and on the chain. Yes. So you're getting an original guys. And this is the clasp right here. It's one of those. And this is a mark right here. You got to pull back just a little bit. My hands. Yeah, I can see it. I, okay, we got Barbara at uh, $40 going twice. All right. Hey, Lynn, don't, don't be putting no 68 in there. I'm going to take that as a bid. We know those are the people. <laughs> I don't want to get, I don't want to mess up any more than I have already today. All right, so we're going to go three. I, well, I appreciate it. We're going to go three times to uh, Barbara at forty dollars. Hey guys, fair warning: a James Avery for forty bucks. Thelma at forty-one dollars. I just almost hit enter. Thelma, you got lucky. Forty-one. Kathy Valentine from Down Under. Put a shrimp on a Bobby. Says forty-five. All right, guys. We might do uh, one one more piece or two more pieces before we do the jar. We've got Bar Barbara at 50. I know, I'm speeding it up. Going once. We've got Barbara at 50. Going twice. We've got Barbara at 50. Going three times. Fair warning. Sold. Barbara, sold to Barbara Babsy1316 for $50. <laughs> sorry, Thelma. You came right in at the bottom underneath my... I think you're lagging. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. 50. Wait a minute. No, that's right. 50. Yeah. You guys keep throwing numbers out here. What's 54? Bar, Barbie is on. Yeah. Only 25 minutes. Hey, you know what? Shall we do the jar? We only got 25 minutes left. April? Or do you, or do you want to do the key? Let's do this key bracelet, and then we'll do the jar, okay, guys? And then we can get you to the auction, and then, yeah, we'll knock it out, Adam. We're going to do this. This is a starting bid. What is this piece? It's, made by who? It's a silver necklace. I mean, a silver bracelet. It's just says 925 on it. I don't see. Okay, we've got a silver bracelet. Nine two five, and it's all a bunch of keys. And they, they look like keys, like the barrel keys, the old house keys. Anybody for twenty five? Because if we have no love on this, we're going to move on to the jar. And you know, any of the items that we did that didn't show the love, we may show them again on this on round two. Yeah, sterling key bracelet. Seven. Yeah. And it's seven inches, and they're all little different kinds of keys. We have no love at 25. I'm going to give it a couple more seconds, guys. Okay, you want to move over to the middle of the screen there, Patty? Oh, you're bidding 25, April? Okay, April's got it at 25. We're going to do going once at 25. Uh, 
April. Yeah, I got April at 25. It's April. April 25 going th twice. April at 25 going three times. Fair warning, people. Sold. Sold to April for 25. Thank Sorry, you, Anna. Anna. Sorry, Anna. Are you? If you, I don't know if you're getting timed out or or what. All right, let's go to the jar, guys, before because we want to knock this out, and then we'll do a round two after the MSP auction, and we'll get rid of. We'll not get rid of. We'll show the rest of the stuff. She has good stuff. What number? Is so I know for a fact in this jar, there is Monet. I'll pull back a little bit, please. Like I know that green piece for for a fact is Monet. There is uh, sterling silver. There is stone. There is um, rings. There's earrings. There's necklaces. And the starting price is $25. So Angie, at so get this, is at $50. I have Angie at $50. Do I have anybody want to give me? Let's, let's, let's see if we can do this in fives. Anybody want to give me 55 for this jar? Yeah, it is a good-looking jar. It's got... Uh, it has it's a got, frog in it right there oh, that has a jelly type. Where's the frog? Belly. Where's the frog? It's right there at the top next to the lid. Oh, see the frog right there? Yeah, with the with the jelly belly and the eyes. And then there's uh where's that green brooch I fell in love with? That's in there. Look at that right there. That green brooch right there. I love that green green brooch. And we know there's Monet. There's sterling silver. What else? Did we mark down anything else in there, April? This is signed. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. Shippen's right there. So, yeah, there's Sarah Coventry. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Adams. I don't think shipping is free, or it's probably going to be priority flat rate. Yeah, if that's what you're saying. Yes, that. Um, if you want, the if you want the, if you want the jar, it'll go in a box that'll probably be the twelve dollar medium flat rate box. If you want it, don't want it in a box. If you want it in a bag, then it's probably going to be seven twenty five. In the poly, uh, the bubble flat rate mailer. So we have Kathy from, that's that Kathy from down under? Yes, it is. $58. Now, Kathy, you know that's not going to be the flat rate. You know the shipping is going to be a little more. So you're probably not going to want the jar. Hey, my cozy nest, welcome. $58. Do I, can I get $60 for the jar? Anybody that silver give me thing right there is also a brooch. Oh, yeah, that silver, that's a brooch. Yes, it is. Yeah, remember you guys put it together. Bougie Bear's got it at 60. I know what she's going to do with the jar. Do you want to pull it back just a little bit there? And it is filled to the top. We have uh, Associate 65. Yeah, Kathleen's saying if she wins, yep, no jar. So we have 65. Can I get $70 for the jar? You it know, guys, there's a lot. Stone necklaces in it. Yep. You put up there, put it together. What else is in there, Dia? We helped to put it together, so I know it's got great stuff in it. Sixty-eight dollars to Kathy. We have sixty-eight. Anybody want to give me seventy? Come on, guys, seventy bucks, two dollars more. You're getting an awesome jar. We're the green brooch up. is nice. Oh yeah, the green brooch is nice. I love that that green pin. I think it's beautiful. So we've got yeah. 68. If y'all seen my videos, I had this necklace on one time. It's long, beautiful. Yeah, so you know she wears her stuff. And there's Monet. Anybody going to give me $70? Anybody? All right, hang on. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Typing it out. Hold on, my keyboard here. I'm not holding out on anybody. So, so okay. Well, Sosi came in at seventy. I was gonna do. I was gonna type it. Going for sixty-eight. Going once. So, Sosi's at seventy dollars. Anybody want to give me seventy-five? You get your choice of the jar. Or not, Kathy at 72. 
Anybody else? Yeah, it is a very nice chart. Thank you, Kathleen. Yes. All right. We got. Um, we've got. Uh, we've got. Uh, Kathy at seventy-two. Going once going. Oops. Okay. Sosi said she's out. Francis came in at 75. Sorry, Angie. Francis is above you. So we've got Francis at seven. No, Francis, you have it. You were above Angie. So get this. Kathy's out. So we've got a Francis at 75 going once. Anybody want to give me 70? Uh, anybody want to give me um, 80? Anybody want to give me 80? Okay, so we've got going twice to Sosi for $75. Angie comes in at 80. You know what, guys? I think... I think we can get a Benjamin for this. You know, anybody want to go? Uh, let's let's see. Anybody want to give me ninety for it? We've got Angie going once at eighty dollars. Anybody want to give me eighty-five? And uh, Francis in at eighty-one. Okay, thank you, Francis, for that bid. So get this at a hundred. Ooh. Okay. So we've got so get this, Angie, at a hundred. Going once. <laughs> Love you, Terry. <laughs> Angie, so get this at a hundred. Going twice. It is a very nice jar, guys. Anybody else? Francis tapped out. Anybody want to get in? At the last, we got Angie going $100. Third time. We're going to be doing fair warning here, guys. It is a good, and this is as good as it gets on the jars. Fair warning. Sold to Angie. For 100 bucks. Thanks, Angie. Oh, Francis, I'm sorry, man. Angie sold it or Angie bought it at 100. You Let came in simple. right you came right under. I'm sorry. Maybe we could put another jar together before the second round. Okay. So, I know Angie's not going to want the jar because we have too many glasses here. So she said she's broke now, no MSP auction for her. So I know she's going to choose the bag. So if you wanted to dump that out and put it uh, nicely, you know, do the thing like we're talking about mm -hmm. and put it and or you have another jar, mm -hmm. but Angie's going to probably not want the jar. She's probably going to want to go the 725 Okay. because we have enough jars here. She said All no right. jar. Yeah. Angie said no jar. Okay, guys. So look, thank here's you. the deal. The MSP auction is starting in 15 minutes. I want to thank everybody that came. We had a lot, we've got a lot of lots. I thought of starting at four was going to be enough time and it wasn't. So if you guys want to come back after the MSP auction, I'll probably do about 15, 20 minutes after the auction or half an hour, give you guys a chance to rest up, get something to drink, something to eat. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just start a live, a live show that says uh, second round auction with Patty. Okay. Or something like that. You guys come back because we've got some other fine stuff. All We're right, gonna put so a jar think, together. I don't know. Maybe we can put a jar together. So Patricia. I want I want to uh, I want to thank uh, hang on, my camera's off here. I want to thank everybody that came. I want you to go get your refreshments and all for the MSP auction. We gotta go support Dwayne and this new girl Karen, I think her name is. And she's got loose gems, video games, jewelry, and some kind of purse lot that's vintage. So we need to go check that out. All right, guys. Uh, come back afterwards and check on us. We're going to have another second half to this. I want to thank you all for coming. I pray to God blesses you guys.
tonight with uh, much success in other auctions if you're there or coming back and that you have a great life and uh, happy family. And we'll see you guys in round two. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Cool. Bye.